Ladies and gentlemen, music enthusiasts and rhyme rebels, welcome to the electrifying pulse of the airways. This is The Rundown. Get ready to embark on a sonic journey where beats collide, melodies intertwine, and genres fuse a symphony of pure musical ecstasy. I am your guide, Triple T, along with Mr. Reactions and Johnny Cashville. We will guide you through the pulsating adventure and together we'll explore the latest hits, unearth hidden gems, and dive into the very heartbeat of the music world. So buckle up, adjust your frequency, and let the rhythm take control as we set the stage for the unforgettable musical experience. This is not just a show. This is a celebration of sound, a rendezvous with rhythm, and a testament to the universal language that unites us all where music soothes the savage beast. Welcome to The Rundown. What it is, what it was, what it will be. What up, everybody? It's Triple T, and I'm back with another episode of The Rundown. Tonight, we got our final match. We got two artists going against each other, and it's going to be a doozy. But before we get started, I'm going to bring up my co-host. Y'all know him as Ant Music from the great state of Florida, Mr. Reactions. What up, Mr. Reactions? What's up? Then, the man, the myth, the legend, put many people in the ER when they started messing with him back in the go-go days. I'm talking about Eddie E.R. Robinson from Outlaw Nation. Hey, everybody. Then Glad have, you can make it with us tonight. Then we have another artist that you all know, and he is the chief of all cities, and he goes by City Chief. What up, Chief? How you doing? Then the newest member of Outlaw Nation. If you ever try to steal his beats in his live stream, you will get wrecked. I'm talking about train wreck Kenny. What up, what up? Then we have the man. The myth, the legend, the man with the golden voice. He is the best country singer, mainstream or independent. I don't care what anybody says. They call him the boss hog of Outlaw Nation, the man, the myth, the legend, the one who sang a song that has 134 million views. Welcome to my house, Mr. Jesse Howard. What up, what up, what up? What up, Jesse? What up, everybody? Then we have another legend. We have another legend in the building. He is known as the world's largest party planner, but he also has some phenomenal music. And he's the CEO of the Redneck Rave, the man, the myth, the legend. Who the F is just in time? What up? Who who the forks is Justin Spoons? (laughs) (laughs) Well, gentlemen, I appreciate each and every one of y'all to come up here. We have a great show set up. We got two good artists going against each other. We got J.J. Hughes versus Menace from MTP. But as everybody sees, there's a ticker going on the bottom of the the screen. I want you to go to that link. You can pre-order Who the F is Justin Time versus Lil White album. I believe this is Lil White's first album since 2018. Go pre-order it, and I promise you, you won't regret it. Because them two are putting out some bangers. And they got some great features on there. They even got New Breed and Jesse Howard on it. And you know, if they're on it, that speaks volumes by itself. So It only it- costs us a million dollars to get the feature, but hey, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> go hit that link, pre-order it. I'm going to order it, and I highly recommend you order it as well. Now, before we get started... I got to show you this, folks. Trust me when I tell you, you want to watch this. Let's get it. Speaker, the president of the United States. Tickets at rednecrate.com. You'll buy a ticket for the whole seat, but you're only going to need one. 
fuck? Action pack, son. <laughs> we got sail jumping over the moon. Man. <laughs> You're muted, T. <laughs> the reason why I showed that tonight, the winner of that is going tonight is going to be playing at the Redneck Raid. So yep. go to redneckraid.com to get your tickets because you ain't going to want to miss out. I can promise you that. So, Mr. Robinson, you've been here since day one of, of the rundown. What are your thoughts up to this point? First of all, I want to say thank you, T, for inviting me. Thank you, uh, Mr. Reactions, for having me and, you know, being the brains behind it. Uh, if you guys are watching this, share it. It's going to be a good show. Share it to everybody. Man, that's a nice little piece right there. Yeah, it's a nice but we had some there. good nice artists show. on here. Um, the two artists that are in the competition, you got Menace versus J.J. Hughes, both spitters. Menace has been wrecking it from day one. As soon as J.J. Hughes came into it, he went ahead and showed his skills, too. So this is going to be a good clashing. I'm ready, dude. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Justin Time was doing the hand and sign language for you while you were giving your speech. Oh, speed. thank you. <laughs> He's the interpreter. He's like. <laughs> All right. Train wreck Kenny. Shit, I'm scared to talk, bro. You've been here the second long. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, what are your thoughts on this season? It was cool. That was it? Just cool? Shit. Let him finish telling it with his hands. <laughs> no, it was good, bro. It it was good, bro. I mean, it it was it was interesting, you know, to watch it. And uh I'm excited to see who win. Okay. City Chief, your uh, your final thoughts. Yeah, uh, damn. No, yeah, I mean I, I've seen some some pretty dope artists, man, and, and now to get down to the final artist. It's gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> now, Jesse, I know you've been watching. You have any thoughts before we get started? Uh, I mean, I'm uh, shit. Um, I have been watching it, and I should have been on here a couple of times beforehand. I know we talked about it, but uh, you know, I I support it, man. I I think it's a great thing. I, I'm ready to see the winners too. I'm ready to to I'm ready to see what they got for real. All right. Now, just in time, I would also like to say thank you for coming up here tonight and um, help pick the winner for the one who'll be playing at just, uh, the Redneck Rave. I greatly appreciate it. I know the people okay. in the chat appreciate it. And much love and respect to you for that. Hey, it's all about helping everybody come up, man. It is. And I also like sure. to give a special yep. shout out to Hard Target, who was one of the first judges on the very first episode. Um, he backed this the this uh this program he supported it from day one so shout out to a hard target and trailer made records as well as chief from trailer made and i also like to thank just trey who's a, a dope artist who came up here and judge also um austin foreman a country singer came up and judge so shout out to them shout out to johnny cashville who judges as well and there shout was out another to, guy from florida as well yes non rilla Came up to judge from how long? Like Jericho. Jericho. Oh, yeah, Jericho. I forgot about Jericho. Yeah. And shout out to everybody in the chat for showing up twice a week to watch us rant and roast each other and have fun. And hopefully we picked the right artist to get up to this point. I didn't have to pick them. The judges did. But, you know, it is what it is. But shout out to everybody who's been supporting the program. All right, so what we're going to do tonight, we're going to play the two artists. Then I'm going to send them the link, and they're going to come up, and they're going to have two minutes to sell why they think they should win. So, first up in the shoot is going to be J.J. Hughes. All right. So, J.J. Hughes, you're up to the plate. You know the rules. We hope your stuff's fire. We hope it's gas. Because if it's trash, I promise you, they're going to let you know. So, everybody in the chat, you know the deal. Sit back, relax, strap your boots on, and enjoy the ride. Let me know if you can hear this before I pause my mic. 
Let's get it. Man, man, man. Shout out to the rap gang. I love this shit. Shit, I'm just in time, triple threat How I doing when I see the gold Shooting through your city, train smoking like I'm Kenny No pad, way too cold Like a gold mine Cash bill, what the fuck, where the cold sign Eddie toss a beat, he all that shit down in no time Looking for reactions from a mister, this ain't part time Outlaw need to sign a younger man, this is my time <laughs> shit, 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 don't get me activated Pencil sharper than some knives, get your ass decapitated Let me tell you why I need this win, shit, I'm dedicated People think they on my level, but it's open levitate I, how I pull the pen out, pencil whip, they ass is devastating Smoke them like a blunt, being passed around to cancer patients Why you think I'm misbehaving, snap and that's an understatement Thank you for participating But I'm here to make a statement <laughs> Captain Kurt of the rap game Red shirt, always running with the first strain Jumping on the track like I'm Jordan on some cocaine From the foul line, covered in some blood stains Pistol jotting and I'm pissed off I'll run it back from the kickoff Like Forrest Gump when I'm in the game Look around like, where y'all? Really wanna get shit popping Moving pins is like a coffin Writing sins, I do it often Don't pretend I'm not a Martian Young and flyer than a saucer Why you working? I've been bossing Toss my ass another beat So you can watch it get assaulted I ain't playing out this awful Man, it never gets exhausting I'm the one that they been calling When they really want the heat uh, Told my ass to duffel back For all these damn receipts So I guess I'm overqualified When it comes to beef uh, Deep off in these mountains But I I still ain't hit my peak. Go, I've been go, screaming at these pussies. I ain't even hit a peak. Go, King Kong go, with the vest on. Disrespect me, boy. I'ma hit you with like eight songs. Way too cold. I could rap through a payphone. Price sound better than half of these lame songs. Scratch my head like how I'm underrated. The coldest in this lane, bitch. I should be celebrating. Got here off my town instead of all that paper laying. Uh, never sell my soul. Why the fuck you always hating, ho? You be hating, ho. All right, so that was eight days. God damn. Finals. Felt like he was really mad. Who was <laughs> Man, I feel like he went he went all the way in. I like, feel I, I feel like he had some shit to get off his chest, and now was the time to do it. Absolutely. I can yeah. to be honest. I heard uh, some time drop in there, so I'm biased already. Shit, I, I jam it again. First that was actually really good. Shout out to JJ Hughes. Interesting fact, JJ Hughes made the beat to ride out that me and Mark Hotic did. Shout out to beat was fired too. The too. Hey, the beat was fired too. I wonder that if he produced through the whole beat. thing, really. Uh, did, did he produce it, record himself, mm -hmm. mix, master? I want, to, I want to ask him if he did all that. Okay. Eddie, what are your thoughts? That's how you compete. You come out swinging when you're in a competition right there. The dude dropped everything that you were supposed to. Name drop everything. Dude recorded a freaking song just for this moment. They just said he How made can you get better too. than that? That beat was hard as fuck. I ain't gonna stop. Woo! Yeah. You think he made the beat? He said he made the beat. Oh, I mean, shit. I don't well, I mean, I'm he said he did. I don't know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it, you know, unless somebody grabbed out of right, the catalog. A but, uh, ball there, buddy. Dude, that highly impressed me. Um, had me jumping out of my chair, dude. I like to see when people come to compete like that. Eddie, you sit in a forklift. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. On my throne, on my drum throne. But, dude, he came with it. That's all I got to say. The dude came with it. We're here to pick a winner tonight to come party with Justin Time, Outlaw Nation, and a whole host of other artists. And, um, dude, you got a pretty good darn chance of doing it, man. That, that was really good. Shout out to Adam Calhoun, who's in the chat. He said, this is pretty good. Yeah, absolutely, man. It was Shout out to Calhoun again. Calhoun, Appreciate it. Brother. Tune it in, bro. Oh, they ready for that one. All right. So, City Chief, your thoughts? Yeah, I thought it was dope, man. I mean, uh, this guy never really – I mean, he's, fucking, he's building this shit, dude. Like, he's – I don't know. Like, he's an artist to watch for sure. Uh, there were some parts on it I felt like he, you know, could have did a little better on it. But 
honestly, all overall, this shit was dope, man. And the name drop was probably the most brilliant thing you could possibly have done in this whole little finals right here. <laughs> Got my fucking vote. <laughs> probably the, yeah, so it's probably the I think it is that way. You know, during during like mid end of it, I felt like he kind of got a little lazy on the writing, but uh he picked it back up. The beat was dope. It was a great choice of beat, uh cool little uh shit that he did there. So yeah, good job, bro. Okay. Train wreck candy. Bro, that was probably the hardest song he ever made that I ever heard. Shit, I mean, I I, I done heard a bunch of his songs, you know, and I, I fuck with it. Uh, I like his real shit and sh- stuff like that. But <clears throat> we was picking at all that real shit this whole time. Every time he dropped something, it's some real shit. And we kept just saying something, man. You always come in with that real shit, and it's a competition. And so he listened to what we said and, you know, came with that shit this time. And that shit was hard, bro. That's really all I can say. I fuck with it. Okay. Mr. Reactions? Fire, 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 fire. First time I've heard him like go in like that. I know he was definitely he was definitely a good artist. <laughs> this is tough. So I mean, he came in like Eddie said. I mean, name dropping, and then was riding it and flowing it. And I mean, he came to play today. Uh, I know Menace is no joke with the pen and pad though. So I'm just ready to see what Menace has to throw out there as well. Too good job, JJ. All right, Mr. Jesse Howard saving the best for last. I felt like he was right in the pocket. And um, I'll tell you, man, like the little switch up he did, just like that was nice. I felt like his his cadence was great. Like the beat was fire for real. Like the beat drove it hard and that, that made my head bob instantly. And I knew I could just throw it in the truck and be able to ride to it. <laughs> Um, I felt like he was mad though. Like he was pissed <laughs> off and he was, he had some kind of way of like getting that. And that's what, that's what the mic's for. I've been there before where I was mad and, uh, I let the, the emotions take over me. And then, you know, we've, we've made some, some hits by getting that kind of feeling before you walk in there and go on the mic. So I think he brought it and I'm just, dude, I, that was, that was fire, bro. Good job, brother. Good job. Good job. Justin, all you gotta do now is spin the charm. That just ends it right there. Spin the charm, <laughs> Justin. Spin the charm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely dope. Uh, I like how he did put the names in there with Justin Time, put the ER right. in there. He put uh, Captain Kurt, myself. That was dope. So good job, JJ, for real. All right. That was awesome. Now we have Mr. Menace. They call him a menace for a reason because he is a menace to okay. some people. Triple T, Triple T, can we run a commercial before we play that one? <laughs> yeah, we may need a palate cleanser hey, before we hey, get I into think this it's next time for a commercial break. A word from our sponsor. I agree with you one hundred percent. Look, I'm just saying, I feel like it's the perfect time right now. This is for our sponsor. No better time Sunday. than right now. Hey, exactly. Chad, if you're watching, pay attention. Speaker, the president of the United States. <laughs> He got in there, and every time he did one of those things, you should went pow in the background. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see that commercial more than one time than that. I yeah, kept bro. waiting on a, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought bro was going to say snap into a Slim Jim. Hey, brother. more American commercial than that. I love it. The bald eagles, that sets it off in the background. <laughs> What's going on, Larry? You doing all right tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm doing great. Eddie, I know you know that's a real American commercial right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to see shit like that around midnight watching cable. 
I watched Welcome to My House 10 times before I made that commercial. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Is Mike, is Mike in here tonight? I must say 10. Is Fedora Mike in, in here tonight? tonight? Mike's back there. Damn, Stick Hi, Mike. There you go. There you go. Mike, What's up, bro? Mike, 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 do the thing. Hey, no, come up here. Come here. Come what? here. Come up here and do the thing. Mike. What's up, y'all? It's Fedora Hello, Mike. Mike. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day because you know that we is. We are. <laughs> 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 he's talking all nice about that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he's talking all nice back there. Really Look nice. at Jesse talking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Howard, I was thinking, I was thinking, uh, I'm trying to make the most American commercial ever, so you would like it. Dude, you nailed it. We're like gonna hear it like 25 more times tonight. I already know. Can't wait. Jesse Howard, I dug. Hey, it's in the contract. Triple T signed it. I was like, hey, I need this commercial plays at least 33 times tonight, or well, I can't do it. And I will upload that contract. There you go. Is it uploaded on socials, man? I'm gonna share that shit. No, not yet. Oh, yeah, okay. it is. It's on it's on Larry's page. Okay. All right, back to the contest, though. Let's All go, right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, so now we have minutes. Let's go. We did a song called Belly of the Beast, and he is good with the pen and pad. This shit gonna be hard, too. I know it is. All right, man, as you know the rules, you've been here before. We hope your stuff's fire. We hope it's gas, because if not, they will trash it. Everybody in the chat, sit back. Relax, strap your boots on. Let's get it. Gotta look. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Corinthians 10 13. Let's go! I was born in the belly of the beast Got my fangs out and I'm ready to feast I don't see another motherfucker that'll do it like me You can think different about who it might be But I do as I do and I do as I please Put the ink to the pad then I sing to the beat Oh, you better than me? Well, I think that's a reach Better never let a motherfucking dog off his leash They don't really know what I'm capable of Get the shotgun cocked, now he's taking a slug Now he's full of hate cause they took his love Buried his child, now he stays with a buzz Smile on his face, but it's fake as fuck They say what's up is staying stuck And haters can't appreciate the fact that it's always straight up keeps it up Fuck, fuck him, no, I guess it is what it is There ain't nothing close to interfere with a whiz Got him and so when I appear at his lick, got the muzzle loaded, but they ain't hearing a clip. And I'm ready for whatever, any time, any place. Haters throw shade and slime in his face, but the pressure don't mean shit. The time that it takes and the end result from the diamond it makes. I'm a father first and a husband next. My kids love me now, that's a flex. And I provide for mine, so when I'm rhyming, I'm going line for line and leaving so perplexed. The truth is, I don't really make excuses. I wake up in the morning, I get up and do shit. Now I'm on a mission to enhance the movement. And men has only had the same chance as you did. Now fuck this, I'm going to buck ten. I would hate to be the one to interrupt him. Cause if you do that, there'll be an eruption and I'll make food out of you for my consumption. It's just not Checkers and you gotta play smart And if I'm being honest We don't have the same heart Even if you plugged in Bitch you ain't nothing What I'm saying is We don't have the same charge You're fucking with a heavyweight now Who gonna leave you When the fucking petty stay out Hit you in the face Walk away then smile You ain't fucking with the greats Cause I'm taking them out Now change up the cadence Look mama I made it I'm trying to be rated As one of the greatest I'm wearing a belt Ain't no way that you're taking I'm loving my style Even if they all hate it Wait a minute I ain't never been a slouch No working hard While you laying on the couch bro Think they better than me But competitively I'm at a level some never can reach Now let me be real like Cyprus For I come bust like nitrous Please don't fuss I'm like this, and every man alive has devices I done been through shit that would make a grown man just drop to his knees and quit But the problem with that is that God got my back and I'm living my life how he sees fit Amen. I ain't saying I wanna put an end to it, cause I ain't lying when I say I really been through it Put a child in the casket, stood at his graveside, watch a mother cry, I went through it I don't wish that on my worst enemy, the pain is raw and it's real as fuck Some nights you lying there wide awake and silent inside, it eats you up And you just fold your hands and pray that the pain will go away real quick I look up above and send you my love, cause I'm still screaming out forever six so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 4110. I will say this Menace has a feature with Little White, and there's a reason why. He's fire. Mr. Robinson, what are your thoughts? I'll say it again this week, like I did last week. Menace has <clears throat> been coming consistently with hits nonstop. I don't think any other artist that's been in this contest 
would have been as consistent as Menace. I mean, the dude consistently just spits bars left and right, always has dope beats to go, go along with it. Those visuals, dude, that was the best visual I've seen thus far, man. Thus far. I would really love to see your face, man, in a video, but if you're going to rock a visual, that was the one right there. I really like that. Um, dude, you came with it, man. I'm not surprised. Before the show, I'm like, Menace is going to come regardless. That's what that guy does. So uh, I, I would like to see you at the rave, dude. All right. City Chief? Yeah, it was just one of them that I just, I really hated it ended. Like, I, I enjoyed it from the front to the back. Uh, what I didn't enjoy was I didn't I didn't really like the mix. Uh, I didn't like the whole high and low at the same time on a rap verse. It's just my opinion. Uh, but that shit was fire, man. It really it. It just kind of put me in a different mood. It, it kind of brought me to my old pen and pad days where I just wanted to fucking demolish everything in my studio because I, I drank a whole lot of whiskey. But I, I wanted to keep going, you know what I'm saying? So uh, good job on that shit, man. All right. Train wreck, Kenny? I know he ain't give everybody a shout out like JJ did, bro, but that was fucking sick, bro. That that whole shit was just going in, man. He always killed everything. Um I didn't I didn't care for the the dub overs on the verse. Uh I hate that shit, bro, to where they they're not like right on top of each other. If you just turn that shit down some, bro, it'd have been all the way 100, but other than that, that shit was fire, bro. Like I had sold him a beat the other day. I thought he was going to use it for this competition. Then when I heard JJ's song, I was like, "Damn, bro, I hope he didn't use that beat." And then he didn't. So good 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 looking out on himself, bro, cuz that wasn't the beat for for this, bro. So that's what's up, man. That's just fire. All right, Mr. Reactions. I mean, what the fuck? What, what the fuck do we say? I mean, just like Eddie said, dude, it seems like every time he just he keeps keeps going in, man, and it, it just keeps getting better and better. I think this one was tough. Like tough. Usually, Menace's you know songs, you're kind of like, oh yeah, we already got this. You know what I mean? But this song tonight, JJ submitted was, was hard as hell. Menace came in his flow. I, I was just waiting for a breath, like a. <gasps> You didn't hear it though. <laughs> you just kept rolling. So shout out Menace, man. Good job tonight, man. All right, just in time. Let me ask you this before you say anything. Could you see this artist playing at the Redneck Rave? So look, I'll say this. <laughs> I'll say this. There's a lane for that particular kind of music, for that particular style. So if it was me personally, that's not something that I would normally listen to. If I'm being 100 percent completely honest, but I know that there's a lot of people that listen to it and it takes skill and it takes talent to do that kind of stuff. But as far as if I'm comparing the two songs, I would listen to the one that JJ did if I was driving down the street and if I was bumping in the side by side in a trail or if I was doing some kind of that. The other one, mad props and all that other stuff, but it's just not something that I'm just... I mean, it didn't, it, 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 to me, it, it wasn't like a, a wow factor. And so if I'm a redneck rave guy and I'm a talent buyer, if I would see somebody come and I had to compare the two, I feel like the first song would make the crowd way more hyped than the second one. But I'm not throwing no shade because I know that there is a lane for that particular kind of music. I'm just saying. I'm only one vote out of, out of seven right now. But if I'm being 100% honest, that's what it is. Good job. All right. Jesse? Well, um, first thing that popped in my head, uh, it seemed like something was clashing in the middle of it as I was listening to it. And I don't know why, but it was just something that really popped in my head. And like, <clears throat> I feel like he really came hard with his message. And, and, and I don't really know the guy. So, you know, if you think about uh, track to track the other one my head was bobbing i feel like it could vibe more at the rave um this one it was a great track it was an awesome track i loved it too just because i liked it i'm not saying i would i didn't like it because it's kind of like a mix for me it's kind of i'm kind of like 50 50 right now i have to sit here and kind of process it well i want to hear them both again and and it's you know i feel like uh I feel like the first dude just really brought it for the occasion. I feel like he just really, really came to the plate, and I feel like it got all of our reactions. 
in a, in a certain way to where I felt like we'd vibe really good. So, and the, and the other guy felt like, yeah, it was good. It had good delivery. He was on target. It was in the pocket. The track though, just was a little weird to me. What didn't go as hard as the other track. If you want my personal opinion. Gotcha. All right. Well, at this time I sent the link to both JJ Hughes and menace. Check your IG. But while we wait for you to come up to talk to the judges, we're going to take a commercial break from our sponsor. <laughs> Speaker <laughs> for President of the United States. Comes to the wild. Comes to the bay. The redneck race. On its 20th anniversary to the mm. Ooh, May 2nd to 5th. Mm. I'm going to tell you what. You ain't. It's the Blue Island, off road Park, in Mammoth Gate, Kentucky, May 2nd, Doofus, you must have lost a god dang, ooh, American fucking fire. Sky in sale, mm, jumping over the gosh dang moon <laughs> Friday night, we got a rave in a cat. Saturday night, we got real life music from Outlaw Mason, just about a new break. We got Little Lines, just a JJ Hughes, I sent it to your uh, Facebook Messenger, the link. <laughs> and while we wait for them to come up, I am going to play this one particular song. You all have heard this song yeah. before, and it's a banger. Whoa. We got Justin Time Whoa. and Jesse Whoa. Howard. Turn the camera off so I can smoke. Break it down. Let's get it. Told me they worked as hard as us. Oh, I thought it was real. Oh, oh shit. I hit the wrong button again. All right. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Try to get a fix with the ones that you love for a bump in a hit. You can lie to yourself, but you can never forget. Selling everything you want because you're drowning in debt. I sit back and reflect on my past and regrets. All this pain in my heart that I've come to accept. Put my faith in the Lord, but I'm losing my steps. Only time I'm ever happy is when I'm walking with death. I feel pain for the single mothers out here struggling. Man, they working two jobs and it still ain't cutting. With a Debbie baby daddy too worried about change. Can't make support payments for screaming he's getting paid. Cause it's a cold world, but reality's worse. And loyalty always stops in the back of that hearse. Now your best friend is same one that you grew up with make a move on your girl the first chance that he get damn fighting all these demons on the daily depression got me feeling real crazy running through the dark without a light feeling like a thief in the night think about the time i spent trying to get the bag for the rent sacrifice it all for my kids they don't really want to see you win everybody really ain't your friend nah you only got yourself in the end been lost and been found found been broken torn down trying to swim but i drown all this pain is so loud they keep Breaking me down, they ain't breaking me down. Life ain't breaking me down. You're breaking me down. This ain't for the views and the likes. This was for the ones that's had a hard knock life. Struggle every day just to try to pay the lights. While you walk around smiling with a pack full of knives. I remember way back when, with no heat in the house, we would open up the oven and we sleep on the couch. Had the pots on the stove just to warm up the bath. With a bowl of ramen noodles and we split them in half. Feeling like I lost my way, so I drink every day just to hide my pain. Friends turn to foes, snakes turn to ghosts. Man, I've been through it all, yeah, the highs and the lows. The ups and the downs, I done turned it around. In a sea full of lies, I'm just trying not to drown. With my back to the wall and my feet on the ground. Doing everything I gotta do to make my mama proud. Yeah. Been lost and been found, found. Been broken, torn down. Trying to swim, but I drown. All this pain is so loud. They keep breaking me down. They ain't breaking me down. Life ain't breaking me down. Breaking me down. Been lost and been found, found. Been broken, torn down. Trying to swim, but I drown. All this pain is so loud. They keep breaking me down. They ain't breaking me down. Life ain't breaking me down. You're breaking me down. So far, 
Breaking me down. Just in time and just in time. That's one of the nicest songs I've ever heard. We're judging that one, too? Yeah, yeah judge it. <laughs> All right. We do, have both contestants. we do have both contestants backstage. It's probably my best one. Up. I'm going to bring them up one by one. We're going to bring up Justin J.J. Hughes first. What up, JJ? What's good, brother? I that was Slim Shady when he came in this month, but he's getting ready to throw uh, it. What's up, JJ? Hey. <laughs> I feel like Where I'm not a fan. <laughs> are, are those bottle records hanging on your wall? <laughs> <laughs> on Every one of those records I charted. All those are charting records. Yes. Oh, Every one nice. of those. Oh. <laughs> now we like this. Well, wait, hey, hey, wait to shut this shit down and just big dick everybody. So you know, <laughs> sorry, big dog. Sorry, dog. Yeah. Shit, dude. Right, if you JJ. win, you're performing at brunch. So whatever. Okay. You got two I, minutes. Just <laughs> seven minutes, bro. You got, you got to clean minutes. up that for it, goddamn it. Wasted my minute. All right, uh, I think I should get this slot, honestly, bro. And I'm being 100. percent There ain't nobody else in this lane that's rapping like me, bro. Like I've been at this shit for so long, almost 10 damn years, bro. I've been pushing this lane. I've not been like, I've not been promoting country rap, but like everybody puts me in country rap. It's not even, it's not even a question. You know what I'm saying? Like I show up at the shows. I do what I need to do, bro. I'm a family man. I do everything I need to do. I think I'm the perfect selection for this. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I go hard every every single day, and Justin knows I've tried. I've been. I actually had a redneck rape slot at one time for actually free, but some shit happened and I didn't get it. I know. Yeah, that's what that's beside the point. But I'm just saying, I've been right there at almost getting a redneck rape slot a couple times, and I just couldn't do it. So this would be awesome to finally knock that off my board, bro. Because that's the last thing I've really wanting to do when it comes to this lane. I want to get on that redneck rave and really shut shit down. Okay. Mr. Robinson, you got any questions for JJ? Yeah, what kind of mic is that in front of you? Uh this is a uh, uh a baby bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little fun fact here, man. That's the baby bottle in the blue line. That's sort of a mid tier. Welcome to my house was Recorded on talk the mic talk below that, that one right there. Talk that really? Recorded with the spark. Really? That's yes. dope. <laughs> that's, yeah, <I'm> glad. <laughs> hey, that's dope. Yeah, All man. Right. Well, with this song here, dude, um, I'm gonna keep it short. You basically said I want to perform at the rave. Yeah, that's I did, did. Yeah. I'm ready. And because you know, I got a, I got a deep catalog. Uh, I think I got all of my songs, bro. Are the redneck? You know, I feel like I appease that crowd perfect, bro. I got a lot of deep songs, yeah. and just the life I live, bro. I'm a I'm a country yeah. monster, bro. So I'm gonna add a little bit more because I was talking uh, to a buddy of mine about you, and it's we were saying, and you kind of brought it up how it's weird that you're not per se a country rapper, but how the country fan base has adopted you in their genre right. in the family even though you're not as long as you're bringing heat i don't think anybody cares but i think you've right. done a hell of a job um appealing to the country rap crowd very good job in that appreciate you and your dope ass rapper man city chief yeah so <clears throat> i mean jj we go way back bro i've been knowing you for a hot ass minute dog yeah um, my brother was good <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like, I know what you're capable of. I've seen what you've done. Um, I, I've seen you out there, and um, you know what? What do you plan on doing after the rave? If you, if you went to the rave, what's your goal after that? Um, you, you've stated simply that you're not a country rapper, uh, that you appease to the people, but uh, your lane is absolutely not country rap. So, what is your plan after Redneck Rave? Uh -huh. Cause I don't, I, don't like, I don't like labels, bro. I'm a, I'm from the country rapping, bro. And country rap people love me. I don't want to, I don't want them to think like I don't want to be in country rap. I'm, I'm rap period. So wherever you want to put me in, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, call me, call me. Whatever you want, so I don't mean. So I'm not, I'm not labeling you. I'm asking you, what's your next move after this slot? Oh, after you, after, want, after you go perform at this rave, what, what's your next move to strive for better? I'm gonna keep on doing what I've been, cause I, that's what I need. I need a little bit of. A momentum under under my name because i got the work like the work ethic i got that down pat bro i just need a little bit of exposure to run with that so i can get some stuff going because really i just need my name out there more like that's really the only ring i, I want to go to the rave is get that name out more because my work ethic you can't yeah i mean it's 
it goes unnoticed, bro. Like I know it does. I hear it all the time. Like I just got to keep working. So that's, that's all I got to do, bro, is just keep my foot on the pedal. So after the redneck rave, guess get, you know, I, it's, it's time to drop some of these big, big features that I've been holding, hold, like holding on to. I got a lot of shit that I can drop, but like Justin says it there, bro, I'm just trying to hold that shit until the right time. And I need, this is my time, bro. I need it. Understood. Train wreck, Andy. You can't hear you, Kenny. Hey, you can't Kenny. Hear you, you moved it. All right, so I got up to get a Dr. Pepper, and I'm not real sure the the, the point right here. Am I asking him questions, telling him something, what I'm doing? Do you have any questions for JJ on why he should win or or what? I, uh, I heard him saying why he should win and stuff. I, I feel him on that. So I've been watching you for a little while. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was either last year or the year before. Uh, we did a show in Tennessee or something together. And ever since then, I didn't, I, I had never heard your music before then, but ever since then, you know, I just been kind of keeping an eye on your stuff, bro. And, and you steadily getting better and better. Uh, your mix is getting better. Your beats getting better. I mean, everything about it is getting better. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you putting in the work, especially, you know what I'm saying? Cause in this game, that's all you can do is work, 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 work until you get to where you need to be. Uh, I'm still doing the same shit myself, bro. So I, I, I feel you on that. Um, the only thing I, I really got to ask you, bro, is if you want to work on something, bro. You want to shoot me a beat or something, man? Let's, you know, man, let's get on something, bro. Well, this is what I do full time. So, yeah, send me <laughs> my snap on that thing tonight. I don't care. Bro. Work yeah, hard. We'll, all right. We'll get it figured out for real. Let's go. Yeah. Some reactions? Yeah, man. Uh, so, JJ, first off, I want to say congrats, man, for making it to the end game. Oh, yeah. You, know, uh, you got a lot of talent, dog. Tonight you 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 came with it. I saw what hey, you did there. I, I need a reaction. So where are the reactions? <laughs> That's all I need to know, brother. Where Man, listen, I took time away from the reactions to do this show okay. with Triple T. Okay. Um, so I want to say thank you, man, for being a part of this this monumental moment, man. Me and Triple T, this is a vision we had back in November, December, and to bring it to light and to see here we are in April, uh, you know, so close to to having a winner for the Redneck Raid, man. So my question for you is this. What inspired you to make music and what's going to inspire you to con con to continue to keep making music and bettering yourself if you were to win this show tonight? Um, Dude, honestly, like it's crazy, but I was inspired. Like what really inspired me the most when I first started was was the country rap scene, bro. Like at the time you had you had Ron Upchurch killing it. I was I was really watching Broadnax before he blew up here like. 2000 subs i was watching a cow i was watching justin time and murph this one just time and murph was freaking killing it with uh do what i want i jammed that shit uh, religiously um i mean just like i feel like if there was a product of this lane it's me i guess just how i think about it bro like you know like you have products of like the uh, of like the hip-hop lane like yeah i did i did listen to all the hip-hop people when i was younger but when i really started rapping when i really started to step in front of the mic i was listening to country rap i was listening to justin time and big murph i was listening to broadnax i was listening to a cow of church i was you know what i mean like everybody so, that's in this lane so i feel like i i am the product real quick before we end it uh and and t ask you one last question or or jesse or justin i want to ask you real quick just to get an idea so i see you say justin said he wants one i got you so before we end my discussion real quick. I just had a question. You say you, you kind of got thrown into the mix with country rap, right? And you kind of got that real hip hop flow to you. So I want to ask you here, what is your top five artists that are alive? Oh, uh, so yeah. your influence. Yeah, your yeah, top yeah. Five. Hold, hold up. Let me get this right. So are we doing are, dead, dead or alive? Dead or alive? Yep. Yeah, top five. Oh, all right. I'm not I'm cliche. I'm not going off the rip and say Eminem, bro. I'm telling you right off the rip. I got Joyner Lucas route the hatch. And then I got Broadnax coming in. No, actually, Broadnax and Jordan Lucas are like tied for first, bro. So I got, I'm on, I'm on, I'm gonna give it to Broadnax just because that's my boy. Broadnax, Jordan Lucas, Mac Miller. Uh, I'm trying not to be cliche and say like what everybody else does, bro. I'm trying to really like focus on who I listen to now instead of just like saying all the greats. Cause I, cause this is just who's, this is just who's great to me in my opinion. Um, I'd say I don't really have two of the other two, but I keep my list pretty damn nowadays. I don't really listen to a whole lot. 
Yeah, I mean, Russ, Russ, Broadnax, Mac Miller, Jordan Lucas, and probably Cal Scrooby, in my opinion. I didn't expect that last one. There you go. Okay. I mean, All right. Yeah, I appreciate I, you. That, that's just who's inspiring me the most right now. Yeah, I got you. That's just, uh, yeah. Mr. Jesse Howard. Oh, uh, man. Well, first off, man, uh, what's up to you? You know, good job. You, yeah, huge, huge fan, brother. Loving uh, what you guys are doing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, I tell you, that's that going throughout it. All the other guys already in the interview, kind of like, like, kind of already answered some of my questions I already had in my head about because you, you know, about your influences and where you want to go after the rave. Because uh, <laughs> I tell you, man, like once you once you get out there and and you're out there in front of all them people. It's like the world does change overnight. You know, it, it took one one hit for me to get there and, and thankful for Newbreed. I ain't said nothing about him tonight. So uh, he's had a hard year, but um, love that guy to death, man. And the thing is, is I just want to know where you what's your plans afterwards and where did you kind of where did the what was the anger from in the track? That's where I want to know. <laughs> uh, I've been where, where'd you on. feed off of that? I'm being slept on, in my opinion, bro. I feel like motherfuckers need to say my name more i feel like i've did a lot of things for people in the game behind the scenes i've did a lot i put a lot of people in positions just to get shit on and get used i'm fucking tired of it bro i want motherfuckers to know who the fuck i am bro welcome yeah. welcome to the game dog hey, I, hey. Hey, I get it bro i'm just being honest though. that's exactly why no, that's this, exactly what i mean yeah. the, that kind of answer is exactly what you want because you got you got fire in it you can feel it like Everybody could feel that, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, Justin, at one point, felt that with me, and he gave me a he gave me an opportunity, and he's 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 done that for a lot of people, and, and people shit on his name for some reason. I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. The, it, people don't like good. Some people don't like when other people do good. So the way I look at it is, is I think you killed this, bro. I think you just you just Sorry. straight up killed it. Thank you. Like, bro. Like I couldn't really get any better as far as um I love the beat, I love the delivery, the name drop, yes, smart little thing you did there subliminally. Those are those are smart. Those are things that you do to get yourself in those spots. And I believe you uh you picked up on that and you brought it, bro. And I mean if you want my personal opinion, I'm humble. Everybody knows that about me. I'm real humble. I should be more of an asshole probably for the, the, the guy in the position that I am, but I'm not. I believe being humble got me where I'm at. So I just uh, I believe you killed it. I'm gonna leave it at that. You killed it, bro. Thank you, bro. Hey, and, and it's and it's funny that you said that because I hate to throw him under the bus, but Hitman told me not to send this one in because Jesse, uh, he probably wouldn't like it because it wasn't like a structured song. He said that they're looking for structured song. I went, I disrespected his wishes. And said, no, bro, hey, sometimes you got sometimes you got to throw one at out there. The Hitman, you got to think bro, about bro. it. Like yeah. Hitman, Hitman knows me. Yeah, he knows. But still, this I knew what was what was being brought to the table, and and you kind of like you just you. you uh, you pushed it over to the top, which is good. You know what I mean? That's a good thing. You got everybody winning. So, but I can't vote for you because you didn't say my name, G. Yes, boy. What do you mean I didn't? Did you miss it? I did. I swear <laughs> I did. <laughs> I missed mine. I heard Joe's, but I didn't hear mine. And I'm cheating through your city. city is it my turn yet? Oh, Wake up, brother. I guess it doesn't <laughs> Can I get a little toxic in here one time? Hey, go ahead, just, just in time. Oh no, here we go. J hey, hey J J Mr. JJ, he's listening, bro. What's good? Bro? Your music, it's good. Your beats, phenomenal. You gotta be hey, more humble. And I say that to say this because at one point I was you, hot headed thinking everything I, I i'm coming for it blase blase that prevented me from a lot of things that i had to overcome in many years i had to humble myself and your talent is awesome you have that but when i'm sitting here and i'm listening and i'm like dude his music was awesome it was i i, I mean I, fun, I, I one of the two songs i'm picking that one 100 i don't care what everybody else says that's the one i'm picking but right. then the first words out of your mouth when you came up here to introduce yourself to the to the people and i'm not nobody to judge anybody because i at the end of the day i made mistakes but i'm just I saying just, my personal people. opinion is is as soon as you opened up your mouth to do that it kind of just rubbed me the wrong way where it was like damn 
because a lot of people think they're working hard, man. But as hard as you think you're working and as hard as that you all the sacrifices that you made, there's a million other people that are making them same sacrifices, dude. So you just got to humble yourself a little bit, hone in on what you're good at and just run with that. But don't don't try to just come in here because it turns people off. Even if your talent outweighs that, it doesn't matter because people ain't going to want to fuck with you if you're just being like, oh, um, uh, hey, it's cool to be confident. I'm confident as fuck. People call me a narcissist. It's, hey, I'm sorry. I'm the best looking in country rap. I can't help myself. But at the end of the day, you just got to sit there, stick now, with can, what you're doing, be a I little bit more humble. If you know and, me personally, so I'm what? the most humble. If you know me personally, I'm the most humble person you could possibly. But I'm saying, but first. coming off as you did tonight, with the first words out of your shit, I was like, you want to be the best. That's awesome. I'm just yeah, giving you what I think. Like I said, music, awesome. Your your beats are awesome. You made the beat to ride out. Awesome beat. But you just got to humble yourself a little bit outside of the music thing. Your music, you got it. You won. You got my vote here. Can't wait to see you at the rave. If you win, it'll be awesome. But I'm but just hey, saying that's the only thing. Though. That's the only thing. Just, you know, why, why is worth it? it's just confidence, dog. Don't trip for real. No, nah, I mean, you can be confident, really trust me. I'm confident as they come, but you also still got to be humble and you got to see there's probably people in here that's never seen you, so you don't want to leave a bad taste in their mouth because some people will look at it, they'll be like, damn, man, like what, what, it, what have you really done to talk like that? You gotta, you gotta build your accolades up and then you can big dick people and do shit like that, but in a funny way, in a, in a, in a comedy way, in a, in a more humble way. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I, mean, I got you. I mean, I didn't mean to rub anybody wrong. I was just being honest with my stuff. Like, I, I wasn't being cocky at all. Like, I'm not, like I said, if you knew me personally and talked to me every day, you you wouldn't say that because you because everybody that knows JJ Hughes and talks to me on a personal level, like, you, you can ask City Chief. I'm the most yes, humble sir. as you can, bro. Like, so Look, I, 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 was just going on, by, I was just going by, like I said, music. You I got get it. it. Just... I get it. A little less, a little less talk. I get you. Hey, little less talk, little more. A little less lip, a lot more grip, dog. You know what I mean? Basically, what Justin's trying to say is it's not what you say, it's what you don't say. If that makes you sense. got it, bro. Just got you. Feel it. You get you young. How old are you? J yeah, JJ, you're good. You're good when it comes 30. to music. I'm telling you, you're good. You're talented. You got talent. You got talent. Hey, I think you should have clocked this two minutes, dog. We working on twenty two now. But I will say this. Uh, you, you named a lot of artists, but one of the things that, you know, you were saying that how you rock with Brian X, Justin Time, this and that. But you do realize we're like Outlaw Nation heavy up here, and, and you just kind of like <laughs> skirt around that. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you got the big man, Boss Hall, Jesse, New Breed. You like saying, I, I listen to these people, I listen to this people, but y'all didn't, I mean, you see what I'm that saying? Would be, that would be a lie, though. I don't tell nah. that, bro. I didn't. Hey, I didn't hey, just, lie, I'm, just I'm just messing with you. 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 I make this confrontation, bro. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> that would have been a lie. <laughs> I would have been lying. So I don't lie, bro. I tell the truth. Okay, bro. I respect that. Just being true. Nah, he's good, just, bro. He said you ain't shit, bro. You heard him say it. <laughs> he said I'm listening to that shit, dog. <laughs> No, no, you I killed it, JJ. I don't listen to yes. Outlaw Nation either. Who are them guys? <laughs> Dude, Outlaw it. Nation, Outlaw Nation. Yeah, you did Screw kill it. Them. Congratulations, to Outlaw. I'm, Jesse, I'm gonna drop you down for now, and uh, but stay stay backstage for the final results. I'm gonna bring JJ, up good uh, shit though. Don't take it. Good shit, brother. No, good shit, bro. All of. All right, you doing now it, bro? We got, Menace from MTP. Damn, what up, Menace? You cast you the link, bro. I did wow, send him the link. Damn, that's messed he up. He said bro. he never got it. T. You gotta that's check the text up, message. Bro. Oh, nice. What up, Menace? Hey, what's up, Triple T? <laughs> My brother yeah, was teaching you like a big fella, bro. I felt like you were going to be like a real <laughs> big fella. Look, I did too, bro. <laughs> I swear <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm six, bro, look, don't let the camera fool you. I'm six seven, six six. I meant fat. No, I, I ain't fat. fat. No, I didn't mean tall. I mean, we can yeah, give bro. Justin time to tall award. Right? That's a <laughs> no, you can give me the tall award. Yeah, bro. Jesse taller than he you is. Give me the tall award, dog. Don't That's take that away from look, me. I ain't gonna lie. Look, I was at the Ohio show. Why? I ha Triple T. I have an echo. What's going on with that? Who? Who? who that one? Is it me? It's probably See if you have another tab open. Thank you, bro. I, I hear it echoing the whole time. 
Yeah. Somebody echoing. Sounding good on my end right now. Nah, then you're the man. one that's causing the echo. <laughs> no monitors <laughs> on, bro. Not this time. Uh, it's triple T. It's triple T. It's triple T. It is, ain't it? What's up, man? Yeah. What's up, reactions? Look, man. Oh, I, man. I went to the Ohio show, and Jesse walked up behind me, and I shook his hand. He like two inches taller, maybe an inch, two inches taller, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Man, he ain't he ain't that big, y'all. Man, yeah. He ain't that small. <laughs> he ain't that small. Hey, I can tell by the size of you hands you're lying right now. Hey, <laughs> my hand cover up the whole camera, dog. We got them calluses, my boy. We got them calluses. You know what yeah. I mean? It's that hard work. Yeah. I ain't got know. one on my hand. <laughs> Let's see where you go, bro. Look at Justin Tom. He got them baby loaves in hands. This motherfucker right here. <laughs> so butter, baby. Man, oh man. Where did the tea go? Justin gets manicures. He probably got a phone <laughs> call. Just all do. Manicures, bro. I ain't mad at you. So do, Beverly. Hey, Beverly, don't be mad. You bought red bottles ain't nowhere. Over here. Uh, <laughs> hey, Menace. I got a question for you, man. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, dude, the world needs to see more of you. You need to hit the freaking road, man. Because I know, I know, you ever know. heard of a, an event called Tom Woods to float in Mammoth Springs, Arkansas? No, sir, I have not. I, I you need to check to on not. that right there. That right there. Oh my god, it's a big Look. event that they hold annually. You need to check, write it down if you got to. Eddie, Tom I, Woods I to float. This. Uh -huh. I will say this. Um, look, I've been listening to a lot of your critiques and your judgments on stuff. And that's mm -hmm. honestly how I've been basing a lot of the stuff to the competition. Yeah. But the, the music, I know the music videos are a huge one. Um, yeah. But man, working a full time job and get, coming out here making a brand new fucking song every time I got to compete, I don't have no time for no music videos. So once this competition is over, whether I win or lose, that's that's neither here nor there. The music videos are coming. They're coming. What do you yeah. do for a living? I am a lineman. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's a demanding job, bro. We got on call for a week, man. It sucks, bro. It's uh, but it so pays. How many, how many hours do you work a week? A week, like anywhere between forty and eighty. It just depends. It just depends on the weather. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on yeah. the weather. So 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 when when do you find time to record? Uh, I mean, I write at work. And then when I get home, I'll just be like, I'm going to record. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so, so do you yeah. do you record your shit at, at, at your home studio? or do you Yes, sir. No, I record, I record, mix, and master all my own shit. The only thing I search is the beats. And look, Trainwreck Kenny said it best. Look, he sent me a beat, and I bought it. I'm like, Bet, I'll buy that. But it didn't fit the competition. So I was like, nah. So this morning I woke up, and I searched for a beat, and I wrote my shit, mixed it, mastered it all today. So how many how many how many hours a week do you do you think that you take towards your music? Um, not enough. It, to be honest, not enough. I think there's going to come a point in time. So like, so, so like if you if you roughly could say, so you work an eighty hour week, so you're working maybe 10, 12 hours a day, and then you come home. How many hours do you spend inside your studio? So thirty. I will say I will say I got from like five to eight p.m. every night. Consistently, so, so you spend about three hours, you know, about three hours a day, and it's in making music. Okay, but if if there comes a point in time where I'm like, look, I'm I'm gonna be a full time musician, or I'm gonna be this guy who's out here working on the line. Look, you know, if the money. So what right, is your end goal from everything? So, so so what is it? What is the reason that you're doing all of this right now? First and foremost, my passion for music is undeniable, man. I fucking love making music. Um, but, you know, my first priority is always making sure my kids and my, and my wife are straight, you know. If I can make the amount of money I make now, maybe a little bit more because, you know, benefits with a job, you know, that's something you can't you can't take away. Like benefits with a job, bro. And kids get sick. They, they break arms and legs. and they're Do you have uh, weekends off? I, so my days off are Sunday and Monday. I work Tuesday through Saturday, 8 to 5. Yeah. Hey, look, man. How much time love, are you in the studio on your off days, then? Um, bro, it, it 
less less than I should be. I get distracted by a lot of shit that goes on on the internet, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be, I'll be watching this shit. I'm so like, would oh. you call that an excuse? No, absolutely not. That's my. I I chose to do that. How could that be an excuse? The entire time. So if you get a slot on a redneck rave, I mean, how how bad is it bro, gonna hurt you have it, to take off two days to to go down? That you know what I'm saying? I got in two days there. I got. And then not only that, but when you come to a redneck grave, you also have to think that you have to get camping stuff. You have to get. Yeah. Bro, we got. Bro, we got the camper lined up. We got the truck fueled up. I'm gonna just say this right now. I got 171 vacation hours. If if I win this shit tonight, is that a paid vacation? Yes, sir. I'm gonna need 20 percent of that. If you <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker right here. This look, you know. Got you know what, Justin Tom? Hey, I'm listen, mad at hey, you. There ain't no I'm robbery mad going on. No, nah, I'm mad. I'm mad at you because I went to the Indiana show. I was like, I said, look. I said, Justin Tom. I said, how old is you, bro? He said, oh, this motherfucker really a rapper, rapper. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. The whole room was watching this. <laughs> when I hear you say camping gear, Jesse, you better tell him we bougie and we stay in hotel rooms. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I leave, go to hotel, bro. I don't I don't fucking everybody, blame you. Hey, everybody want to call me the city boy, but who's on the trenches 24 7, seven days a week at the Redneck Rave? Look, oh, fuck shit. that goddamn look, bro. Every <laughs> Redneck Rave, but I need hey, this. Hey, y'all ain't, no, y- y- ain't taking no damn showers with no baby wipes. So I don't want to hear you. Talk about that's a whole bath, dog. That's that whole bath. I want to hear yeah. that. Yeah, and then he go I'm up there with his busted him. ass voice too, trying to sing too at the same time from hey, all Jesse, the damn butt hey, dust. Hey, hey Jesse, give me some. Hey Jesse, tell Beverly give me some of that goddamn honey. I'll make sure your cheese trays on the table, nice and warm. That's what I'm talking nice about. You already know, dog. You already nice know. Warm cheese cheese. up, dog. You know what, Triple T? They don't know nothing about no fucking FTX when you gotta wash your ass, your face, and your fucking armpits with a baby wipe. They don't know nothing about that. That's no, fact. That sucks, bro. That shit sucks. It'd be a hundred nah, like fucking that. degrees. You be out here washing your fucking ass. I'm lying too. Hey, I'm lying my ass off. I stay at a nice camp. We got we got a hot shower. I'm lying. <laughs> hot tub. That's what I'm hey, talking hey, about, boy. Hey, hey man, Justin, man, last man. year at the rave, dude, <laughs> that fruit you were passing out was so refreshing. It dude, was I tell you hell. what, dude. I, I, I who the fork is Justin Christ? <laughs> I was in that. Hey, dude. Hey, that was the savior of fucking watermelons and cantaloupes and oh my. Oh. I was loving it. Oh my god. Bro, I, did a redneck, I did a redneck rave 420 one time, bro. And it was so goddamn cold out there. I said, Justin, man, I'm freezing, bro. He's like, well, I'm selling these sweatshirts for $40. <laughs> God damn. That's the bay, <laughs> he, he just did that. Oh, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I sold out a hoodie, bro. dog. I'm still in my oh, my lord. Hey, hey, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. That was the rave when I found out who the yeah. real fans of the redneck rave was. Because they blamed me for the whole thing, because it was just a muddy massacre. It rained the whole weekend. It was so fucking terrible. It was so cold, bro. Oh, dude, it was. But I was smiling because that was my first big. Like, that was four twenty Indiana, bro. That shit was. So weird, yeah, yeah, it was. In, it was. I'm pretty insane. sure. I'm pretty you want to get his two minutes of explanation? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, we got. We got to get. We got to get. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mute everyone. Just mute all of us. Tell us to shut up. He ain't got to mute me. I do my damn self. I don't want to talk to you, bitch. Yeah, two, two minutes to you. Know what to do. You got any questions for him, Jesse? He didn't even say his piece, though. Hold on. He never even explained why he wanted to. He didn't to explain the two piece. minutes like we did to JJ first. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, man. We're going to give go you ahead. the two minutes first before we do any of that. So, so yeah, all right. minute and 30 seconds. I, I wrote this song. Um, Like I said, uh, Trainwreck sent me a beat last night. And I'm going to save that for a music video with me and KSM on a later date. Um, I was going to use that for this competition, but I, like I said, I found a beat this morning. Um, I just wrote what I felt was right to it. Look, man, um, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm, I'm a country rapper per se, but I am a rapper. Okay. Um, I love, I love wordplay. I love syllables. I love bars. And I also love connecting with the crowd. Um, I think that's that's one of the biggest things that people are afraid to do nowadays is connect with the crowd. And I understand that maybe I don't fit this genre much, but I'm telling you right now, you would be mistaken if you didn't think I would be one of the best investments you ever, you ever, you ever had, bro. Because not only can I, not only can I do it lyrically and musically, I can. I can sell it to the crowd. I'll bring people there. I can promote. 
Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really have much else to say, man. This it, it was a tough round. I'm expecting to be RIP, and that's fine. But here I am, baby. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, regardless of a win or a, or a loss. I'm still here, and I'm still fucked the mic up every day. Yeah. So, T, can I go first real quick? So, Menace, I want to say this. It's been a pleasure getting to be around you. Thanks to Triple T. I want to also say this. Thank you so much for keeping real music alive. Because nowadays, real music ain't ain't hitting like that, you know? But I do want to say this. So, I get what you're saying about you might not feel like you fit the lane or the genre. But you made it to the end of the rundown. You made it to the end. And every song you've made, I want the judges now, like Jesse and and and, and you know you Eugene, bring- Oh, real quick, let me finish real quick. I just want them to know every song you've brought, you've adjusted to the round, you've adjusted to the competition. Brand new, every single fucking song. No, and that's what I'm brand saying. Brand fucking new. Who else did that though? You know what I'm saying? Who no. else did that? So that's what I was gonna say. So to give you your flowers, I'll give you this. Every week that you've been a part of the run or every time your name's been called, you've brought it. So I want to say this. If the same thing I kind of asked JJ, if Given the opportunity to perform at the rundown, what's next for you? You mean the redneck rave? You, or the redneck rave, yeah. And if you think the redneck rave after that, are you thinking leaning to do maybe a mixture of both the kind of country hip hop and then the hip hop? Or are you just going to stick to yourself? That's a good question. That is a good question. Menace? Um, Yes. Did you hear yeah. Mr. Reaction's question? Not fully. No, sir. I did so not. I said, if given the opportunity to perform at the Redneck Rave, yes. are you thinking about leaning towards the country hip-hop genre and still doing a little bit of hip-hop, or are you going to stay true to just the hip-hop side? No, no. Uh, look, bro. If we get – look, there's a difference between competing on a live stream on YouTube and then having a show – with live people at a venue. Look, you got to understand that, right? I'm up here competing against people who who are taking a chance to get to a show. I'm if I get to that show, trust and believe, we're going to bring a show to those people who bought tickets, not to the people who come up here on YouTube. Big difference. Just okay. time over here. He called time out. Flag on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no, he's doing hand and arm signals for you. Kenny, go ahead. Ask him a question, Kenny. Uh, I ain't really got no questions, man. I just want to say, bro, bring it every time. And this, this, I ain't. This ain't no disrespect to JJ or nothing, bro. But so, man, it's been competing since the first round. You know what I'm saying? And he made it from the very beginning all the way to the last round. To where you know JJ's had like was like two or three rounds, and he made it to the end. And ain't no disrespect because I mean the the song that he came with tonight was hard, but bro fought his way all the way to the end, like clawing his way out of this hole or whatever to get to where he at. So, bro, I, I'm giving a lot of props to you for doing that. Uh, your music is a lot different than other artists that would be at the redneck rave, but don't sell yourself short, bro. Cause you deserve it just as much as anybody else that was in this competition is all I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, I ain't really got no questions for you other than if you get there, are you going to bring it? And you already answered that question, bro. So that, I mean, that's really all I got to say about it. All right, I got City a question Chief. for you, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, you can go fuck myself if you want. over here. Okay. I'm, just, you. I, I'm gonna be honest. I really didn't even get no questions, man. Every question I was gonna ask, he already answered. So you can go ahead, Diddy. All right, thank you, man. Um, is there any artist in your particular genre that's bigger than you that you've tried to network with, or just uh, name name some people that you consider that are oh, yeah. bigger than you, or you're trying to get to their level that First you've foremost. networked with? First and foremost, I've been listening to Lil White since I was a fucking, I'm talking like I was 13 years fucking old. This mm-hmm. motherfucker come out with a song called Oxycontin. He hates that song, by the way. Um, And then come 2023, I, I had a feature with him with my whole camp, you know, and that was a dream come true to me. Yeah, bro. Um, But, you know, there are, look, I got, and I'm not saying this just because this is this show 
and because Triple T's running it and Outlaw Nation's up here. But when Triple T played that song from New Breed that was unreleased, yeah. dude, I gained a whole new respect for him, man. That dude can spit, bro. Can spit. Like, dude's pen game is fucking fire. And if there is ever a no chance doubt, that I could man. work with him, uh, I absolutely fucking would. Um, and, you know, th- this This is one of the reasons why – look, Menace is not – I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be dishonest with anybody here. I'm not a huge country rap fan. But when I, mm-hmm. when I hear Outlaw Nation, I don't hear country mm-hmm. rap. I hear music that yeah. hits the soul. It hits the heart. There's a difference. Yeah. 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 But uh, I just want to zero in on that question. You know, people that you would consider peers in the music that you do, have you reached out to any of those I, names? I did do a song with Narilla called Game Time. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he was, he was, you know, to me, he was a dope artist. Menace, I think he's talking about in your lane, though. Not in like your a, lane. Oh, 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 in my lane. In oh, your man. lane. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. I got, dude, oh yeah, we got a lot of songs with people in my lane, but I never really shared it much here because it's not this lane, if that makes sense. The main reason I was asking you that, because if you were to win the the Redneck Rave spot and everybody's asked us, what are you going to do next? And with you deeply rooted in that genre, I see you just the time. We can keep it going. (laughs) Um, Really kind of a Midwest thing. Uh, you're going to have to start talking to people in that genre to take you to the next level, no matter who it is. And I can name a whole host of people with me being from Missouri that are, you know, doing big things. You got yeah. freaking uh, Ouija Mac. You got freaking Lardy B. All these cats, man, that you can possibly get on those shows and your music hitting ears that will receive your music well. Because that's what they're trained to listen to, you know, and I'm speaking business shit right now. We ain't even talking about music, but overall, and you're from Ohio, right? Yes, sir. That area is, is a mix between country rap and the juggalo scene and business wise, the sound that you have and the, the swaggy, I think you can really wreck some shit in that genre but you're going to have to network with those people, go to shows that you're not booked on and show your talent. Cause these dudes would love to do a feature with you to bring you up to the next level. You know what I'm saying? But overall you did your thing in this man and you're a real contender. I don't know who I'm going to choose tonight. I'm going to have to, I don't know, flip a coin cause both of you guys came with it, but for you in particular, do you are in the hotbed of a genre that would love to eat you up and spend money with you tap into it. All right. Just in time. Um, everything Eddie said is pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesse Howard. Uh, I don't really have any questions uh, at all. I, I, I want to say I appreciate the, uh, the 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 mention of it. You hear real music, um, you know, hear, hearing real music and is part of making. That's what you got to do in this genre. If you're making real music, you'll resonate to the people more than I've ever dreamed in my life it could happen. So, I kind of feel like it's going to be hard for me to make a decision too. Um, I feel like you brought it too, man. I I'm taking in all the considerations of. Uh, of uh big chief and or you know city chief I, i'm sitting here thinking to myself if i he's he's you know, he's fought through the trenches i you know i've been listening to the all this stuff and i've been listening to your story and i feel like you know do you uh my if i have one question um after the redneck rave and i know everybody's been kind of leaning towards this but i'm just thinking like we i guess we all just kind of want to know what your intentions are after the redneck rave, if you get on that spot, right? Because uh, I feel like because of the fans, you know, because country rap, they embrace me. They embrace everything that I could possibly ever think. I never thought country rap, I, I'm a singer. 
and I don't even rap. And these guys boys keep trying to get me to rap to be in to fit to fit into that. And really, people love the singing part of it, and I get it. I'm blessed with that, but I'm just I'm thankful to be up here as a judge, and I want to be equal between both people. And um, you know, I, I guess I per look. I personally look. I don't hate country rap. It's not like I, I've probably got a couple songs that could be considered country rap, right? But me, when my pen hits the paper, I'm trying to write bars. I'm trying to be ferocious. I'm trying to be fearless. I don't. I, I'm not making. I'm not making shit for other people. I'm doing it for me. And I think, as an artist, I think that's the way you have to be. You can't. You can't sell out to what other people think of you. You have to be 100% authentic. And that's what I try to do whenever I write something. I mean, I like that. That's 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 a good answer. I mean, the more authentic you are, the better the better it's going to be. But I feel like if the people I mean, the people who is what's going to make you who you are is what I know. That's what from my story. So yeah. I always like I kind of relate what I've done in a way to where like, you know, I wasn't, I was fearless just like you. I feel like you're fearless in your lyrics and stuff, right? Like I don't, that's, that's this, I felt it, man. I felt the presence of God in your lyrics. I felt that. And, um, that resonated to me too, personally, you know, it's, it's one of those things. So it's like I said, it's going to be a hard one for me. It is. I would like to say this. Uh, I like to reiterate what chain Ray Kenny said. Um, Menace has been here since day one. Every song that he submitted was a brand new song. It wasn't, oh, go download this off, go get this off my YouTube channel. Every song that he's ever submitted to this competition, he wrote it uh, a day or two before his time was up and, uh, and he kept bringing the fire. Yeah. So shout out to him for that. I think he's a phenomenal artist. I think JJ Hughes is a phenomenal artist. I'm glad I'm not voting. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I saw. Can some I have one thing? I want to. I want to well, just put this plant the seed in Menace's ear. When you're coming up as an artist and you're independent, you can be who you want to be and put out. Can't nobody tell you what to do. But when you get to the level where you're doing it professionally, a lot of things change. You know, you're doing it to for the people because nobody is going to invest in a business that solely based on what you think, you know, because to this day in doing what I do for a living, I've never made a beat for myself. I make music for the people. And once I know what they want to eat, I serve that shit up steaming hot, flavorful, and I give them what they want. And that provides me to make a living from it. So you don't want to be in that position to where you're, you're falling into that thing called the starving artist. When you start doing it professionally, you're going to have to feed a certain type of people what they want in order for you to pay your bills. I know you're working as a lineman and you're doing whatever for a certain demographic. Same thing with this music. You're going to have to do it for a certain demographic and continuously feed them with it, whatever it is that yeah. they want. I don't care if it's blues, country, classical, as long as you feed them what they want, that will allow you to transition from independent to professional. Eddie, I, I hear what you're saying, and I yeah. really appreciate that advice, man. It's, it's really great advice. Not going to lie. Okay. But, um. To be fair, and I, look, when I say this, I don't mean this disrespectfully to anybody. I also ain't the guy who did a song calling out everybody on the panel like a shout out. I mean, that's kind of weird to me. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You know? oh, Just keep it up. <laughs> you're good. I try to educate, man. That's my main thing, so, dude. So I think moving forward, T, you want to, uh, since it's the last show, right? And we got Menace up here. You want to bring JJ up, and then maybe I saw. Well, we got we got to let the judges vote first. Well, I was just saying before we do that, though. Real I quick. am not hating, for the record. I let am me, not hating. I think said this. I'm talking to. Sweet no, you're good. Don't worry about that. So listen, what I was saying I'm is, it's the last, it's the last show. 
So yeah, I'm I'm gonna bring both of them up, but like always, they gotta talk in the private chat. While they're doing that, I'm gonna play something. So minutes, I'm gonna drop you down. Don't go nowhere. All right. So the judges are going to. Hey, hey are we in a private chat? Not not yet. Hold on. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh the, <laughs> the private oh, chat, anyways, ain't hey, vocal. You gotta text it. Just you gotta text the private chat. It ain't vocal, so you gotta text it. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, yo, we got a time to chat. <laughs> no. We got time for a commercial. Hang on. Hey, we got time for a commercial break. Oh, yeah. Let's rebel up. Hey, you We're might gonna... get flag playing that one. <laughs> no, I'm whitelisted. I'm good. All right. So the judges are going to talk in the private chat. While they do that, we're going to play this, and then we're going to play a commercial from our sponsor. The chat wanted to hear smoke. That's why I was saying that. But all right. Gotcha. Hey, how, hey, how the fuck do we get in the private chat? Look down at the bottom, it'll say private chat. <laughs> you suck at whispering, Justin. <laughs> 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 So fun oh, fact right. about that song, man. I took your vocals off of it, Justin, and I actually did a whole fucking live performance of it. Live drums, live guitar. Like, it's super dope, dog. I just What never... the fuck? Why haven't you fucking sent that to me? <laughs> I don't know, because you don't answer a goddamn message. That's why. So dude, I don't know what, what are you the... fucking talking. Dude, you, I do. Dude, dude, I'm serious. I'm here. I'm here. Here. That's I'm just like, like right here. Here yeah. I am, direct from the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get a commercial break. 
<laughs> yes, Triple T. That's how obnoxious we want to be. All twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to it, boys. <laughs> T said we got struck. I got you. Damn it, Justin. It'll be back. It'll be back. <laughs> All right, while we are down, who y'all gonna vote for? Secretly. <laughs> Don't hey, do that. Hey, are are we talking on. about on the live right now? Hold on, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone reported us for sure. I, was like, I told, hey, what did I say? Yeah, but I'm I'm white listed. It There's don't no matter. Okay, that's a, hey, that's kind of like a hit song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can play. Oh, I can play Rolling hey, Stone yeah, and never get world. shut down. As soon as he was about to play, I'm like, hey, 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 shout out to my distro for doing the job. <laughs> shout out to our distro. Damn, You're shout out to the distro. Dog. At least I know they're working. <laughs> <laughs> in here, like that shit happened. Can't talk to nobody, but they're working. Hey, I had to switch. <laughs> I said, let me go back to where I'm loved. <laughs> oh, you switched back? Are we live? Not oh. yet. Not we're not live. All right. I I. I hey, are we live? Live? Hey, 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 we're not live anymore, right? It's just group. No. no. Hold on. We will be here in a second. We'll be back in a second. Yeah, they're back. It says here we go. We're, right, back. we're back. All right. All right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, you're alive. I got it. All right. Here's uh, our Somebody. commercial break, folks. We had a break. Yeah. What would you say? The Triple T Show. Speaker, the President of the United States. Clear. Oh, wow. Comes to the face, the redneck race. On its 20th <laughs> anniversary to the mm. Ooh, May 2nd to 5th. Mm. I'm going to tell you what, you ain't at the Blue Island, Off Road Park, in Mammoth Gate, Kentucky, May 2nd to 5th. You must have lost it. We lost Jesse. I got him. Oh, there he is. Here he comes. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes in his garage. You know it. after sig. He doesn't let you know it. Another sig. Yeah, where's your garage at? I'm in my my comfort zone. Let me see your garage. Hey, we get. We, <laughs> hey, we ain't got no. We, hey, look, the people. All, the, we ain't got no drywall right going on. Got we got a deer in that bank. Dude, we're real country. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a deer, a deer hanging station right here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Howard, I bet I smoke more cigarettes than you at the rate. You probably do. <laughs> I bet I know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Jesse just been smoking the whole time. Hey, Jesse, yeah. I'm going to drink more whiskey. All right, so we're going to go around. I'm going to ask you your final thoughts of the both songs, but do not vote. Start with Mr. Reactions. Right. 20 seconds. All right, so JJ Hughes brought it tonight. Uh, he definitely came in. I appreciate that he made the beat. Appreciate he made it yesterday. Uh, Menace killed it from day one. He's adjusted to every uh, episode he's been a part of. So salute to both artists. They both did their thing tonight. Train wreck, Kenny. I'm coming. How long? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah, put it yeah. up, bub. They, <laughs> I tried. God damn it. Uh, they both brought a game on this one. I mean, JJ probably went harder on this than he has on anything else. I will say that. Uh, like I said before, Men has been killing it from the very first show, bro. So, I mean, they both killed it, bro. I made my mind up, though. I'll tell you in a minute. All right. City Chief? Yeah. Um, 
Uh, great selection for both of them. They've been going in. Uh, Minutes been going in since the first time I seen the show. Uh, that dude's kind of like a wow factor. Uh, JJ, I watched that dude from like a pup uh, to where he's at right now. So it, it's cool seeing him go harder and harder with each song. So yeah, it should. I mean, I've got my decision, but it's it's gonna be a good show. All right, Mr. Robinson. First, I want to preface it with uh, when we started this show, <laughs> it's definitely to showcase people's music and it's for everybody but when the grand prize was mentioned a spot at the redneck rave that should tell you you know what this was going to be about you know what it's good who's going to be the best fit there and i didn't start judging like that until the final end and i'm still there now and that's how i'm going to be judging the artist tonight and both of you guys did a hell of a good job man throughout um I want to say, JJ, you did a hell of a good song, dude. I mean, that's how you want to compete in a contest where this is the grand prize. You did a hell of a good job. Menace did his thing throughout from day one. So um, it's a toss up for me. We'll find out here in a minute. All right, Justin, time. Uh, it was a good game. The defense played good. Uh, our center, he really brought it. Got a lot of rebounds. Uh, you know, we practiced all week, so we felt like when we came out here tonight, we had a really good game plan, and uh, we executed. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. <laughs> Jesse Howard. On to you, Jesse. Uh, car ran real good. I don't really know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, <pissed> nice. excellence. <laughs> what for Dale? Do it for yes, Dale. Yes. Do it for Dale. I just got the ad lib. Oh, yeah. Nah, to be honest, I feel like both of them, uh, both of them did great. And uh, you know, props off your know, hats off to both y'all. Um, I know, man. I just feel like both of them did great. It's such a hard decision, to be honest. Um, like. My mind's telling me one thing. You know how it goes. But my body. Right. I, my body. I knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's exactly. Zini in the bottom. <laughs> but um, you guys both killed it, man. Uh, you killed it. Both. both of them did. And uh, I don't know. I I kind of, I'm leaning one towards the other right now, but we'll see. It's been a good game. Tim, what made you think it was a good idea to have Justin and Jesse here? At the <laughs> day, right? We had a game plan tonight, Jesse. <laughs> hey, good for the alley oop, dog. Shit, yeah. <laughs> hey, because they're crowd pleasers. That's why everybody loves Jesse and Justin. All right, so here's my final thoughts. JJ Hughes, you brought it. His song was dope. Menace brought it. His song was dope. Enough about that. We all know they're be dope, dope, a dope artist. So we have to get a final winner. Hey, I'm gonna so, go last on this one, Tim. Yes, sir. <laughs> Train Red Kenny. Damn. Who do you have? Did I know I'm muted. Me? Hold on, I'm unmuted. Hey, you do shit to me every time, bro. It's all good though. I like going first. If you ain't first, you last. So here we go. Uh Am I telling you who I think won or who yeah. I want to win? Yeah. All right, so I'm basing it off of the last three things I just said, and it's I, I'm voting for Menace. And the reason I'm voting for Menace is because the man has brought it on every single one. He fought his way from the bottom to the top. I will say that tonight was a little on the fence for me, you know what I'm saying? But he still went hard enough for me to say that he was running with J.J. on this now. Uh, if JJ would have went against anybody else with that song, bro, I would have said JJ won. This, this shit was fire, bro. But I gotta go with Menace, man. Okay. City Chief. Live on YouTube. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I mean, it's really. I mean, it's is you know, it's my my brain still kind of going back and forth, man. But um, you know, when it comes to who actually brought it, and you know. I just had to go with Menace. Uh, I do. I feel like Menace was, you know, the better candidate all the way through the show. Uh, this song right here was, it, it was so on the fence that uh, it almost really cost it. Uh, it co almost cost him the whole thing. I, I, I liked, um, but what really, <clears throat> what really kept me back and forth was their speeches at the end, man. I, I, I just don't, 
I, I want to hope that Menace has the hunger JJ does because JJ's hungry. So you better understand that you will not see the end of this guy, if he, even if he don't win. That dude's going to keep going and going and going until he gets exactly what he wants. Who did you vote, did for? You vote for? I voted for Menace. All right, Mr. Robinson. I'm going to have to go with Menace. Uh, overall, he's steadily been coming with it nonstop. JJ Hughes, dude, that song had me. You know, that was a winner in, in my mind right there. But I had to look at the bigger picture and um, what I think the people are wanna gonna what's gonna make the people happy. And I think Menace and the catalog he has will definitely be a, a, a crowd pleaser. So I gotta go with him. Right. Mr. Jesse Howard. Oh man. I'm I'm leaning towards Menace. I think I'm going to go with Menace. All right. Just in time. Am I the last one? Yes, sir. So so what were all the votes? Uh, everybody vote for Menace. So it was a unanimous decision. Pretty so much. far, yes. Yes. Okay. So, so then that, that basically means that Menace is the winner, correct? Correct. Okay. So Menace is performing at the Redneck Grave. That is correct. All right. Well, it sounds like a, a round of applause for Menace, 100. percent But regardless, congrats, bro. Hey, regardless of the outcome, everybody, the, I mean, everybody brought it. Uh, I I do love the fact that Menace is like a family man, and you know what I mean. And he and he's going to work, and he's doing that. And I know it's the same thing for JJ and all that other shit. So, at the end of the day, I already came into this with what I was going to do, regardless. So, Menace is the winner of this competition, obviously. But I still feel like that uh, both the people made it this far in the competition. And I feel like, you know, they brought it. So I feel like both of them should perform at the Renegade. Wow. Wow. Woo! Look at that. Talk to me right now. Good I knew job, he was going to do that shit. Congrats. I knew he was going to do that congrats. shit. I, I, told I, him to do it. I fucking told him to do it. Both. Uh, talking to the so, so, JJ uh, Hughes. Even though you didn't win the rundown. Justin Time says you can still perform at the Redneck wow. Rave. You still going to the rave, my boy. You're still Yay. going, bud. You still ain't going, shit. Man. Yay. <laughs> what do you got to say, JJ? Yo, what do you got to, what do you got to say? Right, I, was, I was back in here. Am I, am I live now? I'm back. Yeah. yeah. I was chilling. No. Thank you, brother. Talk is that. <laughs> Thank you, brother. And you already know how much I deeply mean that. I ain't got to fucking exaggerate it. You already know, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all. Menace. Yeah. Hey, JJ, great music, man. Great music. Just Menace, on. click that link again. You wow. got it, bub. I got Respect, it. Brother. So, JJ, congratulations, yes, brother, man. You brought it back. Yeah, congratulations, JJ. Yeah, perform hey, that song, bro, because that shit was right. so Listen, you already know. That's the You're song right. that needs to be done. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know, I was going to use this if I did uh, win or if I did get on the rave. I, I was going to use it, to, you know, uh, to promote that song. So I already got it on all, all plats. So we're making a video for it. So, like, you know what I mean? Hey, absolutely. Bro. Now you got to get us all in the music video. You yeah, already know it. You already know. Everybody, grab it at the rave, <laughs> man. Do it at hey, the rave. Hey. But but before I do get off, I want to shout out to Menace, bro. Dude killed it. Um, I knew going up against this dude that I had to uh I had to I had to come with it, bro. So he's a worthy opponent. Uh, that's why I wrote I wrote something new. Like I could have got something out of the cut. I really could have, but I felt like that's what you guys wanted. Every time I would bring something out of the cut that was deep. I felt like you guys were kind of sleep on it, so I was like, "Man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give him something." Then, like, that's how I felt. So, I, that's that's what you guys got. Congratulations, I agree. To the table for sure. Dude, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck to say, bro. You better say it. How about you turn your Hold camera on, on and say Hold thank on. you? I got, yeah, <laughs> dude, more than thank you. Fuck, fuck. It. Turn, turn your camera, camera on. on and face wow. JJ. Wow. Let me plug. I gotta plug it in. I gotta plug it in. Hold on. My phone was dying, so I had to switch my my charger for my camera. And by the way, uh, Justin Time had just hit me up when we was off uh, during the last commercial break. Y'all uh, be on the lookout for the new City Chief Justin Time song. <laughs> 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 you <pull it> <laughs> Good, no. <laughs> hey, good, hey, good. JJ, uh, look, bro. Um, we have to do a song. We have to do a song to perform at the rave together, bro. Now that, hey, now man, that is hey, a good man, idea. Now that we got bro. you up here, real quick, let me tell you something, Bumper. 
<laughs> yes, I got sir. Something to say. I got something to say. Uh, you said so. So you, you had me. You had me. You know what I mean? It was like JJ had it with the song, but then JJ, you know what I mean? I came out. It was kind of. But then you, the, the, your song was eh, it wasn't my cup of tea. But then you had me with the story going on. But then you said something about country rap, and let me tell you something about country rap, because it it has to be known that we stand on everything that we've been doing for fucking eight years of our life, and that has paid our bills and has yes, done things for me that I never thought I could ever fucking imagine. So the thing about country rap is country rap is the most supportive fan base you will ever meet in your life. So understand that going into to, to going into this, these are the people that they work the nine to fives, they have the calluses on their hands and they can barely even make ends meet, but they find a way to come to the redneck rave because they know it's a place that they can get away from everything and they can be their selves and they're not going to be judged on anything and they're going to meet friends. So don't, 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 don't disregard the country rap. No, no, fan no, no. Base because the no country means. rap fan base is one of the strongest fan bases you will ever have in your life. Those yeah. are the people that are really buying music. Those are the people that are really buying merch. Those are people that are really coming out and waiting in line to come to these shows. Look, so I, never, ever, ever moving forward. I would, I would, I, I'm, I, I mean, I don't know too I, much I, about this I, shit. I don't but hate country What I would do moving forward is, is I would embrace everybody, no matter the yeah. genres. I had to do it with the <laughs> Juggalos. You know, Juggalos, they really don't like the country shit, but I went and performed at a Juggalo event just to show, hey, look, we can get along. Dude, it's not it's not what the, the media, like, pins us out to be. No, no so trust before, me. I know, I know. Second, hang on, let me finish. So yes, before sir. you say anything negative about country rap, understand that they are the most loyalist fan base that you will ever come across in your life. No, look, and I wasn't I wasn't going to say nothing negative about the country rap scene. What I was going to say is the first time I met you, you was getting a buzz cut in a cornfield. And I was like, bro. And <laughs> look, Jesse Howard's tour bus was there, bro. <laughs> Jesse and New Breed, they was there, bro. And look, I, I walk up. I'm like, Triple T, I'm at the gate, bro. And he's like, I got you, man. And he, he brings me back. And he's like, I'm going to introduce you to just in time. This motherfucker over here, he got a fucking towel on his fucking shoulders. He getting buzz cut. He already ain't got no fucking hair. Ain't no fucking hair there to cut. <laughs> this motherfucker right here. Hey, but 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 I'm able to get that buzz cut because the people no, I know, that I know, made man. it re possible for me to do what I'm doing. Look, to I, get a haircut. I, hey, I want to say something. You got to worry about getting this haircut no more, though. So I want to say something on what Justin was saying. Look, I'm one of them guys that's living proof before you today, standing in a field with Justin, looking over in a in a field, going, "One day, bud." One day you watch, <laughs> you don't, you don't know it right now, but one day it's going to happen. Like we implemented it into history. We spoke it into history. Spoke we it. made it into existence. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things where it, it was nothing. I remember nobody knew me at all. I remember walking through the field with 20,000 people there and they didn't have my name on my shirt at all. They didn't say outlaw nation on them. I remember him going, you know how you make them your fans? You walk out there and you go out there and hang out with them. You go out on the trails with them. You go do all that stuff. And I swear, they will be your fans. And that's exactly what happened seven, eight years later. These people that I met seven or eight years ago are still rocking with me today. Still today. like, And they're like super strong and growing and growing and growing. So what we're trying to do is just embrace that. You know what I mean? We embrace the what what we've done with the move with the movement the movement's a, a beautiful thing it's changed like we've carved our way More into the ahead. music in industry we've carved it and we're independent nobody tells us shit to do nobody can tell us what to do that's the beauty yep. that's the beautiful yep. thing of it y'all do y'all do y'all things man y'all do y'all things we do, and so we have we have fun doing it look at this real quick i, I just want to interject real quick so freedom's freedom two ways said i remember jesse howard mounting tires i knew he was going to be big one day so that just shows you like people in the chat remember him from mounting tires to now selling shows out reactions let it. me let me tell you awesome, something okay yeah. and, it, and I'm, I'm saying this for all of youtube look i know a lot of people on youtube are from the south y'all have no fucking idea how a how gets down 
I'm going to just tell you this right now. Y'all yeah, have Ohio, no bro. fucking idea, bro. I live in Ohio. I live in Ohio, and this shit sucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you lying, Sugar Chief. Look, I done, I done told Triple T, I'm like, bro, these boys need to do more shows in Ohio. I'm telling you, they will buzz out. And no look, what, look what happened. That show was a – bro, bro, I was in line. I was at the back of the line, and the people was like, everybody, just go in. We ain't even checking your tickets. <laughs> just go in. Like – it, it was, was too, too much. It was too much. It was too much. <laughs> this year won't be. It'll be way more organized this year than it was last year. Yeah. They ain't letting I, everybody I in this time. This. <laughs> that hey, shit hey, crazy. A big, shout, hey, a big shout out to uh, uh, Trainwreck Kenny and uh, City Chief and Eddie Robinson and all you boys over there at Outlaw Nation. Much respect. Appreciate, Appreciate it, it, brother. Bro, Look, I'm on record. Oh no, just I wasn't saying you, dude. Appreciate <laughs> you, man. Appreciate. I'm still putting it in too. I'm I will say this too. though, you hear me? When Jesse shout was talking out, about shout out to, from, to me to from opening the gates of this shit. Yeah. Hey, shout out from to Train Wreck too, bro. <laughs> I will say this. A lot of people in the chat right now can remember four years nah, ago. I'm Jesse, not a gate opener. <laughs> Jesse was sitting on the side of a road in a gray single cab Silverado doing an interview, and that same truck was in the biggest song that him and New Breeze ever did called Welcome to My House. Man, and I'm so thankful. And I had the opportunity to interview him. 134 million, just in case. 134 you can't fuck million, it down. bro. Right, he was parked on the side of the road. You know just, what he hey, said? Hey, hey, look, I'll tell you this. Hey, City Chief, if you can count to 134 million, we'll get on that song right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bro, if I can borrow it, listen to me. I, I got a fucking calculator. I bet you I can count to it. Goddamn. Right. <laughs> what I want to get at is, you know what Roman, Jesse said? He, wanted him, he bro. said, the only I said, what considers success for you? He says, I just want to be successful enough to buy a truck that I can fit in. Well, I'll nah, tell you, nah, you want to know, you want to know a real Jesse Howard quote that should be on a, on a shirt is, "I sing to race." He is absolutely yeah. damn right, son. He's right. <laughs> that needs to be right. on the shirt several because, weeks ago, because, bro. Me, because I went, I, I went to the drag strip with Jesse. I seen the whole life. I met his I, I, his family, his brothers. They're selling parts on a fucking goddamn fucking table, dude. Like in the middle. Hey, you need a fucking transfer case, Billy? Well, I got one right here, goddamn it, Billy Joe. Goddamn, let's get it. Hey, let me say this. So when it comes, when Justin Time was talking to JJ about being humble, and, and don't take this the wrong way, JJ, I can promise you that Jesse Howard and New Breed, a lot of people have tried to put them two against each other. But they're yeah. the most humblest people you will ever meet. Facts. And they will That's give the humble. skirt off of their back. And they I don't am consider, about helping people, man. I'm they, about are, there, right? they don't ever consider themselves better than anybody. They put their pants on one leg at a time. Hey, Jesse's the most famous person that doesn't act famous that Look, I've ever to, seen. To be hey, honest, on shit, hold on. Hold on. Some real shit, real fast before we get past it. Um, speaking of Jesse helping people, we got a new song dropping tomorrow. <laughs> this this guy. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. And it's a banger of a song. Big up both. It, it is fire. Hitman. Shout out Hitman on that one, too. Yep. For sure. You know, to, to be honest, at least when I was at, at the Indiana show, when I talked to Jesse, he wasn't like, oh, you you really rap rap, huh? Yeah, motherfucker, I'll rap rap. You <laughs> how, how, many cigarette, how many cigarettes did you smoke in the conversation you had with him? It had to be at least a half pack. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> hey, 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 look, though, I do got a funny story. When I was going to go meet Jesse for the first time, I did a show with him at uh, – at the Mountain Doobies, Jesse. I, I was there. I performed with, and I, I was so excited to come up and meet you guys. And what I did was I went and spun that wheel and I got me one of those edibles and I landed on the most. <laughs> Allegedly. Nah, I, I ate that shit, bro. And had a, I had a full fledged panic attack. I thought I was dying. I was huh? in the car for the next three hours. My, my damn girl's like, hey, they're performing. Get a, Go up there and say, I literally was in my car just freaking out the whole time, bro. Hey, I, good, <laughs> that deserves a feature right there. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I was gonna come meet you, but the edible just wouldn't let me, bro. I didn't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> I, was there, hey, bro, hey. I was so messed up. I was signing autographs on shoes, bro, and they were coming at me asking me to sign stuff, and I was like, <laughs> out, I remember signing my first autograph boot. Can I get? Can I get like not even sixty seconds? That's all I need, and I'm out. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This guy says. <laughs> you get fifty nine. 59. 59. All right, I can do. I can do it in fifty nine. All right, here we go. 
Uh, look, first and foremost, MTP, y'all pulling up for the Redneck Raid. We're going to show the fuck out. We're going to show them how it's done. Um, second of all, um, JJ Hughes, bro. look, bro, you, you, are, you are definitely a worthy opponent, man. Um, I ain't going to lie. I really thought I lost this tonight, bro. Um, I have nothing but respect for you. I respect your craft. I think you're a dope ass fucking artist. Eddie, I want to give you some shout outs real quick because you come in since the day this show started. You come in with some heavy facts and you you've gave opinions on how artists should perform better. And I've took that to heart and I tried to apply that to every song I did. Um, so thank you, good sir. Uh, I really I really think what you do is man it's god's gift to the artist bro you, you really just Dude, time over say, here just can just I time say over real quick, man. <laughs> i just want to trail off of that can i say something real quick yes sir. um been in this country rap game for a long time but uh 2016 around 15 or 16 um i was wondering how to get to the next level and i'm on facebook scrolling i hear about this dude named who the fuck is just in time just fucking wrecking shit up you know he was like the man and i'm like i wonder you know how can i get on the rave and you know get on that level doing what he's doing i didn't know any contacts i didn't know anybody i said you know what i'm gonna let my music take me there i'm not gonna make no phone calls i'm not emailing nobody my music will take me there guess what guys both of y'all music took you there to meet this guy right here now don't get him fucking buying him crown royal bottles like i gotta bring it every show but <laughs> this, hey, this guy has say, Eddie, i love you so much by the way i love this you. guy has uh, launched a Eddie, lot of careers Eddie, Eddie, we fucking love you dude. like we Bro, love you like, too like, man we know if we're in a three-hour radius we get to see you eddie you are a, a fucking awesome human being dude and this He's whole hey, hey this whole time a lot of people took this shit super serious so shout out to everybody not saying that i didn't but i, I didn't know what to expect coming on here tonight and Eddie, you put a lot of insightful information out there for people that may not necessarily knew anything. What the hell you were talking about? Kind of like when Jesse <laughs> fucking started talking drag racing to me. Y'all started talking all this other stuff. <laughs> so, and, and, I, I mean, same thing for Trainwreck and City Chief. Like, I, I, I mean, everybody here, I mean, everybody kind of had their own critiques and it was cool. Like, I didn't know what we were getting into. So, shout out to everybody. But, Eddie, we fucking love you. Jesse Howard. Your music's trash. <laughs> Dude, all I, I know, know is I went to the Indiana show and just in time drank like 37 bottles of Crown Royal that night. Literally. He just got started. He was just getting started. Literally. And he got he got past the torch from Lil White. He said, this is your party, Jim. Now, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> that was a dope moment. That was a dope moment. Yeah, it's because I'm a real alcoholic. I don't quit. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I hate to do it, man, but I got to cut out early tonight. Love on. everybody on this panel. Oh, for Thank sure, man. everybody Eddie, for coming in. On, Eddie, before, and, you um, that, yeah, it, before you do that, before you do that, everybody, excuse me for interrupting. <laughs> Eddie, give your thoughts on the the end of the rundown for season one. Like, say whatever things you want to say. That's what I was about to say. I, I think this is the last show. We need to get the things out. And Eddie, to Eddie I'm going to need a beat, bro. Good fucking Shit, luck. Good uh, luck on that. Dude, you need to come to my fucking house, man. You got to go sleep in his living room, bro. That's the only way. <laughs> oh, y'all are going to hate me now. Uh, Eddie, I'll, I'll be calling you for a beat here in the next five minutes. <laughs> well, you know where you got to go, Jesse. Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> Jesse, you're only an hour and a half from me. I'll come so, to your house to wrap this up. This is ridiculous. Send it to your email. Oh, I'm just saying. Overall. Yeah. JJ um, Hughes and Menace, good job tonight, boys. Yeah, man, you guys killed it, bro. You guys really killed it. JJ, I do. I do. Have a how am I getting in the rave? Because I want to show up and get tackled by just the security guards. Like, how look, do bro. I do this? Look, JJ, me and you, we gonna perform a song together, bro. Come right. On, what you mean? There you we, go. We already doing that. We I'm doing that. I'm down for that. We Sit doing it. We gonna fuck yeah, it up, bro. I, it's I'll, on. It's on site. Yes, sir. Y'all gonna let Eddie talk. Y'all gonna let Eddie talk? Yeah, I got. To, I got to get out here. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. But overall, Mr. Reactions, you know, as far as I know, it was a, a a brainchild of yours to come up with this idea, and Mr. Triple T for actually executing it to make it happen. And I want to give thanks to you guys, man. Thanks you for uh, providing this platform for everybody to get their music out, and uh, all of us to join. Be I've met. And talk to a lot of people that I've 
been wanting to, but didn't know how Johnny Cashville always knew the guy, never met him, but this show gave me a chance to talk to him. Um, Heart Target is another guy I actually worked with before via email, and this gave me a chance to meet and talk with him and just a lot of people, man. And I feel like, you know, this is all a family. And when you guys hit the redneck rave, that's what you're going to feel like. You're around family. Facts. Yeah. Facts. yeah. So, but off of that, I got to go, y'all. Love you guys. Yeah, Much love, Eddie. Hey, thank all you. Right. Love you guys, too. Let me, let me do my the, the farewell. And Justin, I will farewell. see you next weekend. See you there, buddy. <laughs> All right, so Triple T, you care if I do that real quick? Go ahead. So listen, I just want to say this, everybody. Uh, City Chief, thank you for stepping in the last couple of weeks, filling in when we needed you. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, love you and love your brother, man. You guys are great people. Train wreck. It's been awesome to have you guys up here the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I want to say a shout out to my boy, Johnny Cashville. He wasn't able to make it tonight, or I don't know if something happened with the link. Uh, but this is something that Cashville came in and started with us as well. Um, I do want to say... Uh, I'm not the brain. All right, let's get that straight. You know what I mean? Uh, it was an idea I had. I brought it up to Triple T. I asked Triple T if he could help with the vision and get in touch with Jesse Howard, Justin Tom, New Breed, and uh, take this this game here that we have, right, the, this show into a, a real reality. So I said I was sick of seeing reaction channels doing just reactions. I said, why don't we do reactions to – music where people send us in something and we judge it with nine biased judges right we get them to come up here they judge it live and then the winner at the end gets a prize uh he linked up with justin time justin time i want to say thank you that means a lot to me i don't know you personally i've never even met you before um who the fork is justice bands may let's go to commercial break let's go to commercial break i do want to say justin for what you're doing though, and allowing the opportunity for JJ to come through, and you see his little man back there, he got a mullet better than Mohan Wall, y'all. Come on now, look at that. Ain't the only thing hanging, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Uh... <laughs> but I do want to say from the bottom of my heart, y'all, I never saw it. Triple T. I think we talked about this in what November, right? Triple T, November, December. We talked about this, and then we brought it to fruition. Triple T made it. To what it is today so i want to say thank you so much to triple t thank you to all the judges we've had along the way uh, too many to name thank you for the show thank you for the chat i love y'all man and, and for what justin did tonight allowing jj and menace the opportunity both to bless the stage shit. man crazy bro crazy hey i ain't gonna lie jj man he look when it comes to competing against somebody man he really he really was somebody I was nervous to go against, man. He's dope. And I, look, come Redneck Rave, we're going to bring y'all a fucking show. Mark my fucking words. For real. Train Ray Candy, you got any final thoughts? Yeah. Uh, I just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm thankful that y'all let me be a part of it for real because uh, – it was fun to do and shit. And I know that we're going to do it again next season. And I'm down to, you know, judge it or whatever. I'm a little bit excited to see what the prize will be for next season. Cause it'd be hard to top like redneck rave. Uh, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, uh, it really ain't a whole lot to say, man. I'm glad all the contestants tried, you know what I'm saying? And some of y'all pass, some people fail, but that don't mean that you can't come back next time and, and do it again, and hell, you might win next time, you know, if you bring Trent it. Rick, did you sell some beats to some of these contestants? You know, I think, <laughs> hey, look, so on some real that. shit, <laughs> look, on some real shit, I don't think that many of the contestants didn't try to use a beat or two on the on the shit to try to get good points, man, so I, that, that was I'm, me I'm thankful for hey, it, that, for that, real, that honestly, I did. but, uh, yeah, other than that, man, I ain't got a lot to say, man. I'm just glad that y'all made it happen and let me be a part of it. So I just appreciate it for real. City Chief. Yeah, man, I appreciate y'all coming in here and treat me like family, dog. You know, I 
started in the competition. I'd rather have been a judge. Uh, this shit was fun, man. I, you know, season two. I hope y'all bless me. Let me come back in here again. Uh, this is what I love to do, man. Obviously, I'm not perfect. If I was, I'd be a fucking millionaire right now. But uh, I do got a great ear, and I just love this shit, man, so much. So I appreciate y'all letting me be here. And uh, good job to everybody who uh, come in here and and actually had the balls to put their fucking music in front of everybody that get on this thing. And uh, that takes a lot of guts sometimes, man. Uh, it takes a lot of guts for for people to be able to to suck up um, and and hear criticism that they don't never get to hear because all their friends tell them that they're good, but in reality, a lot of people need to know that y'all actually suck. So um, you can do better though, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Not you too though, but y'all do. Really hey, well. if I said that, I'm a bully. <laughs> On this show, is he a bully me. too? I don't am. worry. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, but I love y'all, man, and I appreciate everything for sure. Jesse Howard. <laughs> Man, first off, I just want to say thanks, Tim, for letting me come up here, dude, and, and actually, like, you know, be a judge on it, too. I, I feel privileged. I know. Anytime. Uh, anytime. You know, I, I'm i looking forward to the next season, too, because uh, I'm going to be on it more. And uh, if I'm allowed to be, if I'm cool enough to be in the club, like, you know what I'm saying? Anytime. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, both of uh, I, I watched it I, I, towards the end of it, so I caught, you know, like the, the last four or last six ep episodes of it or seven or whatever it was. But my thing is, is like, you guys both killed it, man. And, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing both what both of y'all could do at the rave and, and beyond the rave. Like, you know, it don't got to be just a rave. You know, you could you could uh, you guys get together and make a dope ass track together and it don't you know it's it's something about this, this world inter, intertwines together and that's what we're all doing right now is creating opportunities i think it's bullshit do what no that that was my wife she was talking <laughs> shit so, a friend of mine. He stopped. He stopped over because he knew I was going live tonight. With I thought she said, "I thought I thought I think this is bullshit." I was like, yeah, "No, was like, no, okay, no." Okay, Damn, she was, him, cool. she was telling him he's bullshit. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just thankful, man. Saying, I'm just super, super man. thankful. <laughs> I'm super thankful to be up here with y'all. Like I said, for this last you know couple hours hanging out with everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what y'all could do, man. And and looking forward to seeing some badass live shows. I mean, that's that's part of being an artist is uh kind of got me to where I'm at is the live show too. You know, being a uh, uh, having that connection with the audience goes a long way. And you know, um, that's that's my only thing I could really say is I uh, can't wait to see you guys there. And like I said, Tim, thanks for letting me be on the rundown, bro. Uh, Justin, you still ain't shit. But um, <laughs> you know, tell him again. Yeah. Oh, oh, we can't wait till it's our turn, Jesse. I know, I know, I know, I know it's coming. But I'm about to drop off here too. I just wanted to just holler at y'all. Don't say worry, Ben's so. got it on the other phone watching. Ah, well, Jesse, no, thank you. Drop off, yeah. Yeah. Jesse, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming up here tonight. I greatly appreciate it. You know I have nothing but much love and respect for you. Much love, bro. Much hey, love. Jesse, you got to get my kids in the next video, bro. They're obsessed with you, bro. It's annoying. It's annoying absolutely. Bro. absolutely. <laughs> hey, thank you for coming up, Jesse. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, no problem, brother. It was, it was fun, man. I had a good time. Jesse, yeah, hey, before one. Before you go though, bro, uh, me and Drew made a beat for me and you to do a track together. I forgot to tell you that. He'll shit, never bro. do so, it. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe he will. I mean, I'm, we made the beat, so that's the first step. So that's the first oh. step. You're right. The yeah. beat gotta it's go fair. hard. It's we there. It it's there. All you gotta do is get 134 million views. He'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time, you got any final thoughts? Get there one day. Just in time, you got any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, team played good. We had a good strategy coming into it. Um, we sat there, and, you know, we executed. And, uh, you know, a big shout-out to Mess. Uh, he, he really did his thing. Uh, JJ, he really brought it uh, on the offense. Um, at the end of the day, you know, um, there has to be a winner. So, um, shout-out to Menace for winning. Uh, JJ Hughes, you still get the participation trophy. So, right. <laughs> I just like, I just like, I'm just like, hey, uh, shout out to everybody that did this. Uh, shout out to the platforms and shout out to everybody watching at home. Uh, more importantly, shout out to everybody watching at home because nobody could be doing anything that they're doing right now if there wasn't people tuned in. So, hey, shout out to everybody that's been in the live chat the whole time. And uh, if yeah. you guys don't know, 
Uh, me and Little White have an album coming out. It's Who the Drop Fuck Is the Time versus Little White. May, what is it? May 1st? May 2nd? <clears throat> yes, sir. May 1st. And then uh, if you guys don't know, May 2nd through May 5th at Blue Holler Off-Road Park in Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, there's a little festival called the Redneck Rave, and we will be partying there. Oh. Jesse Howard might be there. just depends on if we get his fruit tray and his cheese tray and his meat tray. It just depends on whatever his demands are at this point in time. Big boy, bro. Uh, little White will be there and Dale Jr. And um, I think everybody else will be there. So we have a lot of surprise special guests that are going to be there but we can't tell you them because they wouldn't be surprised special guests and uh we got ian moore he's gonna be there that's larry del reed and this is fedora mike you can get all the clothing you can get all the clothing that we are wearing today right here at validgg.com lots of new redneck rave apparel once again a big shout out to everybody that uh you know participated in this competition and uh we feel like it was a good thing and uh look forward to season two and yeah let's get it. commercial break let's do it commercial, commercial break. break triple t Jeez. I think it's time for a commercial break. It's time I for a agree. commercial break. Got a going home. 108 people in here. Commercial break. Ever. Speaker, the president of the United States. <laughs> from our sponsors of Redneck Rave. All right. So, winner is Menace. Runner-up was J.J. Hughes. They'll both be playing at the Redneck Rave May 2nd. Make sure you go down, click on this link and turn across. You get your pre-order of Who the F is Justin Time versus the Little White Album. Drops May 2nd. And make sure you go to the Redneck Rave. And don't forget, on May 25th, everybody wants to go to Ohio show. For the second Welcome Homecoming concert for Jesse Howard and Outlaw Nation. Oh, and also, don't forget the Soul of the South Festival, 4th of July weekend, Thursday. We got Outlaw Nation headlining. On the 5th, we got Up Church with Broadnax. On the 6th, Saturday, Adam Calhoun, Demon Jones, all being hosted by Who the Fuck is Justin Time? And Matt.com. If I may say a hey, shout out to Adam Calhoun for stopping in the chat tonight. Yeah, man, that was cool. Yeah. Shout out to Calhoun again. He's dropping a new music video tomorrow. You guys make sure you guys go check that out. I'm out of here, guys. Oh, it's it. been fun, bro. I'm out. See you. Thank you Jesse. Appreciate you, Jesse. See you. Hey, Jesse, love you, but kind of love not. Love you too, bro. I don't, you, you still ain't what a dickhead. What still a dickhead. Ain't shit. <laughs> still ain't shit. <laughs> All right, folks. Y'all know the deal. I appreciate everybody coming out. Thanks for watching the rundown. Shout out, special shout out to Justin Time, Jesse Howard. Also to all the judges that judges this season, Hard Target, Just Trey, Chief from Trailer Made, uh, Jericho, Non Rilla, City Chief, Train Red Kenny, Eddie Robinson, Johnny Cashfield, and my co host, Mr. Reactions. Much love MTP. We pulling up to the fucking right neck right, baby. Let's fucking go. Make sure you tell your dad, tell your fucking mom, www.renegrave.com. My beer's yes, still cooling. My beer's still cooling. Yours, Justin. <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all letting me on. I'll see, I'll see you at the show, brother. Much love. JJ, hit me up on IG. Hit me up on IG. Let's I get this I don't, I don't have IG, brother, but Facebook. Uh, hey, yeah, JJ. Facebook. Okay. JJ, just stay Just in. get a hold of Triple T. Get yeah, just get in contact with me on Messenger, and I will send you the details for the yeah. Redneck Rave. Awesome, brother. All right. Okay. Shout out to you, uh, Mr. Reactions. Love you, brother. Uh, all love, brother. Now, hey, before, you go, JJ, JJ, before you go, before you go, are you available for some interviews? Because I do have some reaction channels lined up to interview of course. the winner and the runner-up. Of course, brother. Just let me know the date and times. Okay. I will. Is it okay that I send the, your 
your uh, Facebook link to them so they can message yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Tell them, come on. I sure will. I greatly appreciate it, brother, for real. All right. I appreciate all of y'all. Hey, T, stay in the back chat with me. I got you. All nice. right. So, since Menace did win, we oh, are shit. going to play the hey, song man. that he submitted. Bro, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you not play that one to play the No Prince track? I love that song. I ain't gonna lie. I love that song. The No Prince track? Yes, sir. Fusion. Oh, no stay print. Back, or, uh, not Fusion. Yeah. What the fuck, that guy? Man, stay in the back chat with us. No, man, look, you ain't, you ain't gonna go up here and say fuck Fusion and be like, man, stay I just did. Chat. I don't give a fuck. You can't do that, bro. I like I like the guy Fusion, bro. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna be doing none of that. Yeah, All right. <laughs> God dang it. All right. Here we go. No Prince Remix by Menace. Yep. Yeah. DJ Kid, this is Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Put my gang up on my back, I'm down to ride no matter what. If you riding with a stick up in my whip, you better buck. You better if you scream, it seems too loud, and ain't 1,000 better too loud. Look, bro, might flick you down, it's just this way of so love. Bro, I promise, bro, we heard of Giannis, we was about them bucks. Fuck my bitch up in the coop, I bought a truck Packers full of dirty money, got this shit up out the mud Ain't gotta worry about no prince, I rub my own and keep a club Rub my section in this bitch, I brought them killers in the club I'm connected in your city, cause I really in the plug If you really trying to cop and come and shop and spin a dub Let them birdies take a bath, I'm picking feathers out the tub It's crystal clear, I'm not a scrub, TLC outside the club Stupid fresh like it's my prime and best believe I got my gun I've been hustling since the shorty selling candy Cutting lines. I was born to be a baller, mama should've named me Brian Niggas tweaking, trying to speak on me, she gon' release these demons Put your name up on the pack and turn the threats, you know we chief I see you loud up in this bitch, I'm trying to bust a bitch's speak A nigga run off with my back when he get clapped, just when we eat Put my gang up on my back, I'm down to ride no matter what If you riding with a stick up in my whip, you better buck If you scream, it seems too loud, and ain't 1,000 better do Cause my bro might flick you down, it's just this way it's so in love but we heard of Giannis, we was about them bucks I'm too tired to fuck my bitch up in the coop, I bought a truck Pack is full of dirty money, got this shit up out the mud Ain't gotta worry about no prince, I rub her home and keep a club MTP and his team too loud, two demons on a feature now Look at these haters, they make it a frown And do not make moves unless we do it loud it Better push them back, cause they finna fall flat When I make them all crap, from the fucking ball back What you gonna call that? Couldn't get a call back When I wasn't all that, now they better fall back Got the money in the bag, got them packing it up Look at the stats, boy, I'm racking it up And they mad as fuck, that they couldn't get the greenbacks like I can't no pass in the buck <laughs> Shout out to hit him, we got the momentum Now listen, you motherfuckers are not winning I'm ill with it, bitch, I'm killing this shit This pack that I bought right here in the club All about the cash flow, stack that shit up Get in my way, then your ass get lit up The four, five locks and a mask getting hit up Hands to the sky, quit slouching, sit up Everyone wanted, but nobody got the balls to say it straight to my face And the second they do that, I'm still here to prove that can nobody step in my place Put so my gang up on my back, I'm down to ride no matter what If you riding with a stick up in my whip, you better buck If you scream, it seems too loud, and ain't 1,000 better too Look you down, it's just this way it's so in love Bro, I promise, bro, we heard of Giannis We was about them bucks I just how to fuck my bitch up in the coop I bought a truck Packers full of dirty money Got this shit up out the mud Ain't gotta worry about no prince I rub my own and keep a club Alright, folks, there you have it Season one of the rundown in the books. Bro, I can't believe it, Triple T. I can't believe it. Winner is Menace. Runner up was JJ Hughes. Just in time, bless both of them to say both of them will play at the Redneck Rave on May 2nd. It's going to be a fight. Kentucky Mammoth Caves. Make sure y'all go. Or Mammoth Caves. God damn it. Make sure y'all go check that out. Make sure you go to the Ohio show on the 25th. I'll be at both events. Yeah. And I'll also be at the 4th of July Festival, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Um, we will be having the drawing for the raffle giveaway uh, next week. So make yeah. sure y'all stay tuned for that. And that way we can get people us to go to that concert as well. Holy shit, Mr. Reaction is back. I got to hide. Yes, you do. But I want to, once again, special shout out. To my co-host, Mr. Reactions. You've been Johnny great, Cash. Mr. Reactions. You've been great. 
to Johnny Cashville, uh, Eddie Robinson, Jane Ray Kenny, City Chief, Jesse Howard, just in time. Um, Our target, Captain Kurt. Hold on. Let me pull it. Triple T got memory. He got memory dysfunction. I actually got the whole list. <laughs> I'm going to read it off. Here he goes. Let go. As soon as it opens up. Okay. I want to also give a special shout out to every artist that submitted a song for season one. We got Kenny Reacts, Damir the Dragon, Cool Hand Luke. We got Aaron Keys, J. Jack Owens, Mac Rich, Buckshot Biggs, Killer B, Profound, 04 Track, Echo Sykes, JHBN, Sean Paris, City Chief, Gordo Loco, Knuckles Raps, Killer Camo, Mike Sons, Asian Raps, KSN, JJ Hughes, Stack 727, David Lee Knew the Truth, and Little Payday. So special shout out to every one of them. Every one of them. Shout out to everybody in the chat for making this show successful. It's been a dumb without you all. And we will be back at the Redneck Grade 2. So if you want to enter this contest and you're an artist and you want to get your stuff recognized by some really good independent artists, go to tank.demon4 at gmail. Go to the description of this video. You'll see my email. Send me your song, and we will put you on the list. Shout out again to all the judges. Hard Target, Just Trey, Austin Foreman, Han Rilla, Jericho, Chief from Trailer Maid, Trainwreck Kenny, City Chief, Eddie Robinson, Jesse Howard, Justin Time, Johnny Cashville. And if there's anybody else I miss, I do apologize. Y'all know the deal. Stay strong. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Cash and Cashville, Cashville will not be here from now on. I got play. Why? I, could, I got Why? play. I got play, man. Your boy Fusion. I'm man, not scared. Look, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me talk. Let me talk. I ain't talking. I already know what you about to say, Cashville. Fuck all that. Nah, fuck. Nah, fuck I'm not. I'm not. Look, well, I'm not going to do that 